What's really good, everybody? We back out here with another one of those other ones coming at you live, playing Ghost Fire today. We in it to win it. I'm knocked out though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so much in it. <laughs> Welcome everybody. You, you you were asleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just sleeping. That's fine. So we left off. Uh, you guys had uh, changed some grades, kind of got attacked by a invisible creature that you found out was there. Uh, one by one, started filtering back into the secret door that you found that led you into this repository um, where you found Dean Tolis uh, clutching... Uh, the mysterious orb she's been holding. She's been acting a little strange, and uh, her mascot statues started uh, coming to life and knocked down Nietzsche. So, um, we left off at the top of the turn order with Avril. Um, right. Yeah, Avril, you see uh, Dean Tullis uh, clutching her orb uh, after seeing Nietzsche go down she looks at you uh, and she says you you cannot stop what is coming to you um, what do you do here's the I don't really know what you... I don't believe I'm going to run over a punch okay there is. Me check is down. God, the check's down as hell right now. Um, I think. I'll probably. Uh, it's... I have it. Kind of cut out there. We got some robot going on. Say what? He's kind of cut out there a little bit. What was he going to do? Um, I. Um, all right, one. Oh. Did you? Oh. Say what? Oh. Are you guys able to move that token around? Um, yeah, we're just trying to get the... Can you hear me fine? Yeah, or... you're breaking up a little bit, but... Okay. How about now? Yeah, you're good now. That's way better. Okay. Yeah. Coo, coo, coo. Way more better. Um, let's see here. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking I need to keep that thing's attention, so I'm going to... Can you put me on right there in between them? Jump up on top of the table here, and then uh, I'm going to punch down on the one to my right uh, with uh, a punchy. Okay. Roll that. I got 15 plus 7 to hit. Okay, yeah, that'll do it. Hits, and then D8. If not, we got a problem. We already got a problem. Nice. That Let's is a but five I mean, plus five, yeah. so ten damage on that. I mean, okay. And then if he's still up, I will bonus action to a punch a dungeon again with my okay. other hand. Yep, he is still standing. Ooh, two plus seven to hit. Two plus seven. That is not going to do it, unfortunately. All right. That is fair assessment. <laughs> <laughs> All um, right. Yeah, that's uh, that's the long and short of my turn. I can do a whole lot. Pretty much just punch. <laughs> All right. Uh, Runner, you're kind of off by yourself in a pretty good position. Uh, you see all your allies are surrounded. What, what do you do? <laughs> um, seeing that I got some sort of... Um... 
you know, reaction out of her last time uh, by trying to call out to her. I'm going to continue to call out to Dean Tullis. Okay, go ahead and roll me up. Uh, what, do you, what do you say? Um, Dean Tullis! Remember your dissertation on the ruins of dysentery over in the Isle of Tamari? I It was fascinating. Please, come on, come back to us. <laughs> Go ahead and roll a persuasion check. I'll give you advantage on that one. <laughs> I'm not great at this. I don't know why I'm the guy doing this. <laughs> Eh, there we go. Ooh. 15. She starts to like Ooh. clutch her head uh, with one hand as she's holding the orb. That's good. Get out of my head. <sighs> and yeah, it looks like whatever you're doing is doing something. Um, um, is that my action? Um, No, I'd say that's just you're talking in combat. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, gonna start running around the table. All um, right, like a chicken with your head cut off. I, it's an action to do that, so. I'm going to go ahead and take the um, dodge action and hang out right there. Interesting. Okay. Not a bad move. Um, you heard, You see her uh, start to clutch the orb. She takes her hand off her head. She starts, like, moving her hands around, and you see this glowing purple mist start to spin around inside of it. Um, Probably guy's going to go for you, Avril. That is a 12 to hit. Nope. All right. Let's see what I got here. It's going to move up a little. I got my jackal. A little more between you guys. And. Okay, I'm going to pop that out. Y'all can't see it. Um, Dean Tolis starts to manifest whatever's in the orb. And. Um, she is going to I got a song singing in my head and I can't sing it because you know I don't want to get sued or copyrighted Duh. But it's a song by a grunge band. He's gonna target Runner. From Seattle. Uh, go ahead and make me a wisdom saving throw. That checks out. <laughs> <laughs> I have been kind of putting myself out there. <laughs> not great. It's not gonna do it. Um, I would say that's bad. <laughs> not good. Yeah, that's not good. Not. <laughs> as close to that one as I can possibly get. Okay, and she uh, casts a spell from the orb at you. Uh, you start to get these terrible visions uh, flash through your mind as you hear this uh, dark, ominous voice um, say, uh, be silent. And she casts a suggestion on you. <laughs> Great, not great. It's um, terrible news. <laughs> <laughs> so the other statue is going to go for you, Avril. Uh, it's going to be a nine to hit. That's not going to do it. Nah, to be honest, I feel um, they're just slamming life. towards you, but you're just I'm hopping around the table. Twice. They're just taking out chunks of the table. <laughs> <laughs> And need check. I uh, need that death save from you, please. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, that is good. That's one save. 
once. All right. Most people can then say. Do I get to use my my little hyena, or my jackal? Um, I'm gonna say while you are unconscious, you cannot. But it can still take opportunity attacks if okay. it comes to be. Okay. Um. Blackwell, you are standing next to one of the statues, and you see your your friend Nichek down up by Dean Tulls. What do you do? Um, I'm still trying to head towards Nichek. Um, I think I'm going to follow Dodwell's uh, example and jump on the table. Uh, try to pass him. Okay. Is that all right? Yep, you're going to take an opportunity attack from the one next to you if you do that, but... Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's a 13 to hit. Uh, no, that doesn't hit. All right. Yeah, you get out of its reach as it tries to slam at you, and you hop onto the table. <laughs> okay. I got five feet of movement left, so I won't be able to get to the other side of them. Yep, unfortunately you're kind of kind of stuck right there. And could I um, I was gonna say, is, is there a way I could try to shove this guy out of the way? But um, that would be probably an action, wouldn't it? That would be an action, but you most definitely can try that. Well, I know Nechak has saved um, Meta, so he's got at least another turn. Boom. Okay. Do you have an action you want to use? Or a bonus action? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Um, Just trying to decide which one I want to do. <laughs> what you gonna do? Um, can I use guidance and also try to talk to the teacher? You sure can. Yeah. Are you gonna use it on yourself? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can certainly do that. What What do you say? I'm going to uh, tell the teacher not to um, uh, put her ambition before um, the future of her students, I suppose. Okay. Um, something like that. Okay, go ahead and roll a persuasion check, and you can add your guidance onto that. Noble choice of words. Not sure about her, uh, wow. her great parking spot. Okay, uh, nineteen will do it. Um, that's twenty one. Twenty one. All right. So you see her suddenly start to. She lets go with the orb completely and starts to grab her head. She says, "Get out of my head!" And she starts to kind of scream as a. Uh, her concentration is broke from from the orb, so runner, you are free to speak again. Um, suggestion is no longer. <coughs> um, do you see her oh, start to kind of look a little wobbly as she falls onto the ground unconscious? Oh, um, are these guys still up? Uh, they are. Crap. <laughs> you passed out first. You could turn them off. Um, hey, at least we don't have to deal with her anymore. <laughs> so, downside, which this circle's not showing up. Can, can you guys see a 10? Can you guys see a circle around me? Uh, nope. Nope. Except for, yeah. Nope. 
What about now? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. So downside. downside. Uh oh. I take a death save fail. Looking like it. Radiant damage, right? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody in this takes um, two radiant damage. Ooh. Well then. Watch out! <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, you you get that orb out of her hand, uh, Blackwell and Una. You are currently engaged with a, a statue. What what do you do? Uh, okay. Uh, I'm I'm hoping this works. Uh, I'm going to. Well, I was going to knock out the teacher with a sleep spell, but that's not happening now. So, woohoo! Uh, I am going to move between the two of them. So, and then I'm going to do firebolt, but I'm also going to use my meta magic for uh, twinning the spell so I can hit both of them. Okay. Yeah, roll it up. All right. Here we go. A 19 will hit both of them, yeah. What? All right. Ma! <laughs> what <Yeah>. the hell? <laughs> Two fire damage. All right. On both of them. All right. Yeah, you, you give them a nice little burn. Uh, the fireball comes out and kind of splits off in midair and hits both of them. Uh, you got anything else you want to do, Una? Uh, that'll be it. Okay. Um, so bad news. <laughs> got some slams coming at you for that. Uh, 21 to hit. Uh, that one will hit. Okay, that's going to be seven bludgeoning damage. Okay. As the one in front of you slams down right on your foot. <laughs> and the other one will move behind you. Oh. And that's a 20 to hit. Uh, damn it. Because I know if I do shield, it'll put me at an AC of 20, but it'll still hit, right? Uh, it still will hit, yes. <laughs> okay, then I'm not going to use shield. Yeah, I'll take it. All right, how bad is this going to knock, Una? Okay, so that's five bludgeoning damages. This one slams into your back as you are ah! writhing from the pain for me. Uh, Luna's just going to scream. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> All right. Alco, that's going to bring us back up to your turn. All right. This is uh, as crazy as it may seem. I'm going to punch that thing twice. Okay. Which one are you going uh, for first? So uh, same character. one that I've been hit. The one on my right. Okay. Uh, 18 plus 7 on the first one. That'll do it. 16 plus 7 on the second one. Yep. Uh, go ahead and roll the first damage for me. All right. Oh, that is 10 again. Nice. Okay. So that one, as you punch it directly in the face, uh, you see its like face start to like collapse inward. And this ghostly white flame just bursts out of it, and I need you to make me a constitution saving throw. Awesome. Oh, shit. That's awesome. Right. Um, um, by the way, uh, all of you guys would know that the same potion we found on the first day we're here, um, I wear on my hip. I still have that. Okay. From the from the snarl 17, 17. okay that's yeah gonna, it's gonna succeed uh, so you feel this blast of radiant damage come over you but you're able to put your arm up and it just kind of goes around um Ooh. actually blackwell i need you to make me the same uh constitution saving throw please it's just five feet right i don't get it is. Uh, that's really yeah good. that's good <laughs> all right yeah same thing you're you're attuned to the radiant 
right now with your aura and it just kind of soaks into your aura a little bit um and avril you wanted to make that second attack on the the other one here well i'm reconsidering it now that it just exploded and there's somebody down right next to him <laughs> um just i'm seeing it. if unarmed lets me grapple no i don't have to have a brawler either if you make the attack, you can't grapple, unfortunately, on but you made the attack on the first one. Well, if if I had Tavern Brawler, I can grapple as a bonus action. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. But I was seeing if I had that yet. <laughs> I don't think I do. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, <laughs> so... Well, it took me two hits to kill the last one. Hopefully it takes me two hits to kill this one. Um, <laughs> actually, no, if I roll max damage, that's a lot of damage. So, yeah, I'm just going to regular unarmed strike it. So it'll be six damage if it hits. Okay, uh, so that, that roll did hit. So six okay. damage? Yeah. All right, it is still standing. Okay. Um, any movement or anything for you? Um, no, I'm just going to be prepared to just spear it when I'm from off the top of this table and just roll away from me check with it on my turn, next turn. <laughs> All right. And by spear, you mean like the tackle? Yeah. All right, Runner, that's going to bring us back to your turn. You see uh, being tall is fall unconscious. Uh, your friend's being attacked by these statues. What do you do? <laughs> I pull the potion of healing I keep in my pocket since also from the first year. Mm -hmm. And I run 25 feet to right here and grab knee check, pour that shit down his throat. All right. Yeah, yeah go ahead and roll up that uh, potion of healing. 34 plus 2. You want me to roll it or knee check roll on? Uh, either one. Don't really matter. Go for uh, it. Oh, you believe in my dice more than yours, huh? Let's see. <laughs> He's got to believe those cards already. Hey, yeah. there you go. Wait on the dice, too. A little bit. Uh, so, yeah, knee check, you, you're kind of like chugging this uh, potion and you just take a deep breath in and you're back. You're ready to go. <laughs> It's hard to fit it in there. The toss the ball aside. Kind of slap him on the cheek. You you good? You good? You awake? You up? What just happened? You got the shit hit out of you, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I think I lost my last tooth. <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing some weird... What is this? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty. That's pretty thick, though, right? It's got spikes. <laughs> it's got spikes all over it. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's something. It's not your usual look. It's different. I mean, and I'm. If you like it, I like it. It's definitely not a fade. <laughs> <laughs> I am gonna back up five feet and square up so that uh, I can do some damage next round. Alrighty. Um... Yeah, with that uh, knee check, you're, you're back. Uh, the statue here is going to take a slam at Avril. No, it's going to go for Blackwell. Pussy. Yeah. <laughs> and it's going for knee check. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's an eight to hit Avril. That's not going to do it. No, that's not. All right. And in character, Avril was definitely talking shit to the statue. So you guys, uh, Runner, you kind of look behind uh, Nietzschek after bringing him back up, uh, and you see the orb start to spin on the ground, and his black shadow starts to swirl around the orb. Um, that's, uh, that's not great. That's what, I don't know what that, but that's not great. That's not great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Nichek, that's gonna bring us to you. Uh, so 
I'm going to pick up my two cards that I dropped when I went down. Okay. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to run. <laughs> Fair move. Yeah. Question. What's that? Uh, Question. What's that? Uh, okay. I'm guessing that's right. Oh, okay. I'm guessing that's one of his animals. It is. Yeah. The, He's got a jackal here and a monculus right over here. Uh, am I taking an attack of opportunity? Uh, you will be uh, from the from the statue mascot. Uh, Send it. It's a twenty to hit. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Unfortunately, that is eight bludgeoning. God damn it! <laughs> I just God got damn it. it. <laughs> so as you try to take off, uh, slams into the back of your head. Knocks you right back out. Uh, Cards go flying. <laughs> Tink, back on the ground. Didn't we just get him up? Oh, At least God. you got this nice face mask to block your nose from getting slammed yeah. to the ground. <laughs> uh, I'll take it. Blackwell, uh, it's going to bring us to your turn. All right. All right. Uh, getting off the table. I'm going towards that orb. All right. Um, uh, I'm looking in my book. Should I just take a failed death save because I'm about to get radiant damaged? No, not 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 yet, not yet. Um, since I'm not, since I'm not wearing my my common clothes, um. Um, and I still have my gear. Can I use those to pick up the orb? Like to wrap them around the orb? Mm, I would say yes. Yeah. Could definitely try. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'm going to try to pick up the orb. While covering it with my clothes, so I don't have to, um, yell like my yell like my my, my skull rose, my skull robes, okay. so I don't physically touch it. So as you wrap, start to wrap the robes around it. This you guys can see this black <laughs> shadow start to encompass uh, Blackwell. Blackwell, I need you to make me a. Saving throw, um, a wisdom saving throw. Bitch. A bitch. Ooh. This is not good. You have become to curse. Um, you start to hear echoes of this dark voice, uh, this hateful thoughts echoing through your mind, and you get this pounding headache all of a sudden. Um, yeah. Is the voice join all the other voices in my head? Because <laughs> <laughs> I am clearly a deranged individual. It becomes this, the loudest voice in your head. Um, it's not. Uh, it's a persistent headache, but not debilitating. Um, but yes, you you do clutch the orb. Uh, you guys see. The one eye sticking out of Blackwell's mask start to glow a deep purple. Oh, oh um, so, so when I'm doing the the light thing, I'm not currently wearing my mask, so my head is just like a light bulb, pretty much. <laughs> oh, so the glowing radiant energy turns purple <laughs> from the shining head of Blackwell. Oh, Jesus. No, shit. No, shit. That's, That's weird. Scary, scary. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, now I take a failed death save. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. So was that my action? And am I still moving and stuff? Um. Were you holding any weapons? Um. Um. Yeah. I yeah, I was holding a bat. Okay. 
Um, so I'm going to say that probably will be your action to to grab it. Okay. Okay. Unless, yeah. <laughs> Then uh, I'll use my bonus action to end the light thing so he doesn't take that damage then. Okay. Noble cause. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The, yeah, uh, if it turns purple and I'm like, this is, this is a problem. <laughs> I'm going to put this away now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Interesting. I must study this later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is that it for you, Black Boy? You still got some movement if you want to take that. Um, let me see. Yep, yep. Uh, getting away from the teacher, taking this opportunity attack. That guy don't have a, a reaction. He used he it to not. knock me out. He sure did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, you're you're good to go. Um, so, Una, you see you see Blackwell's glowing purple head uh, start to dim down, and you are surrounded. What do you do? Uh, I'm gonna cast Blade Ward on myself. Uh, so go. that makes uh, me resistant to. Uh, Bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage dealt by uh, by creatures. So, and then I am going to proceed to run away. I don't care if it's attack of opportunity. Una's fucked up right now. She's okay. only got nine hit points. Oh, you're taking two of them though. Yeah. yeah. First one First is going to be a twenty-one to hit. No, oh. that hits. Okay, so it's, I would have just hit both of them because then you have a chance of actually knocking them out at least. No, they, they were at, I think they were at uh, full health still, other than what I've done to them, which is one thing. So, Una, uh, that's going to be two bludgeoning with your with your blade ward. Okay. Um, the other one will make his opportunity attack. To, that's a 22 to hit. That'll hit. Okay, that's going to be also two with your blade ward. All right. I'm still up! <laughs> I'm really glad right. I, I did that. <laughs> All right. And if I tell Luna's just going to look at everybody like, <laughs> I can't even do my accent right now because I'm so scared. But she just she'll just simply go, Ow! <laughs> Motherfuckers! And flip off both of them. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you have any more movement you want to use? or? Uh, the, I used all 30 of my movement to get away from them. <laughs> okay. Uh, and my action was my blade ward. Uh, sadly, they... Uh, if it was like if they just rolled under 20, I would have been fine because I could have used reactions. But no! <laughs> right. Shield is useless! <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> Why did I take that spell? It's useless to me. <laughs> this one's going to move up to Avril. Um, this one is going to move up to Una. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, uh -huh. Blade Wars still works until my next turn, so... It does. Bring it on. Oh, yeah. um, so this one's going to go for Avril first. Uh, that's going to be a 12 to hit. You'll have to do better than that. Okay. The second one is going to... Chase after Una. Oh man, <laughs> that is a nat twenty. That's this is just <laughs> ridiculous. Well, no, oh, this damn. was this was fun, that's guys. Disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's a total total of eleven without the blade ward. So that's going to be five. Uh, five. Yep. Uh, five hit points is all I had left. So uh, um, good night, everybody. <laughs> dang it. Okay. <laughs> Una is out. <laughs> See you in Dreamland. Yeah. Uh, goes down. yeah, cause Shield wouldn't have done shit. Hmm. Um Yeah. Alright. Um Just hear a fiery thud. <laughs> Avril, you're uh, standing on top of the table, getting your fist ready, you see Una go down in the corner and knee check behind you, you look back and he's down again. What do you do? What the fuck, guys? <laughs> uh, well, 
He's gonna grab the one that's next to Nichek. Uh he's just gonna like palm the top of his head and like pick it up. Okay. Um we need to get Nichek on the other side of this monster. Uh or make it move far, so, far away. <laughs> what is it's the athletics check, right? Um, so you're using the shove action to actually pull him away? No, I'm picking him up. He's grappling, <clears throat> moving with him. Okay. Scrapple. Yeah, that's going to be a contested athletics check uh, versus his. I'm going to do Kenku Recall and get advantage on the check because I have, a, I have proficiency in athletics. Okay. Uh, nat 20 plus 7. Yeah, he only got a 21, so that's that's going to do it. All right, so I pick him up, and I'm going to move to right there, and I'm going to like basically drag him backwards over the table towards me, like where he's right in front of me on top of that book. Yeah. And uh, then... I'm going to shit talk the other one that's over by Una. Um, tell him that he couldn't hit me if he fucking tried. And then I just start squeezing the one that I have on the table. And while I have somebody grappled, they take a D4 of damage each turn that I have to grapple. Ooh, nice. Okay. Go ahead and roll that D4. And roll me. Yeah. Go ahead and roll me an intimidation check. Beautiful. <laughs> Oh, wait. <clears throat> Keep forget. I can't just roll it up. 15? Okay, that's for the intimidation. Okay. Uh, yeah, it looks directly towards you, and it looks like it's going to be running straight straight at you. Yeah, I'm looking at dead in its eyes, slowly crushing its companion's head, <laughs> talking shit to it. Hell yeah. So, go ahead and roll that d4 for me. Uh, me. I got a 3. I'm seeing if there's any ads to it. Yeah. It's uh, features and traits. It's weird doing this on the phone. I never know. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just a D4 bludgeoning down. So, yeah, it's just the three. Okay. Yeah, you start to squeeze his skull. You can feel it start to crack. Hell yeah. Um, it's going to bring us to Runner. You see both your allies down. What do you What do? you do? Damn it. And I'm going to move forward busy. five feet and Me see too. if I can find... Nichek's potion that he got first year because I don't think he had drank his either. Let me look. Okay. Go ahead and roll an investigation check for me while you're that you're I looking. can do. Uh, since you're not surrounded, go ahead. You can roll with advantage. Uh, I do. That, I do have gonna, it. That's gonna do it anyway. So, yep. Uh, <laughs> you you pull it out. You find another one. <laughs> Yep. Damn it. Okay. Well, this was fucking handy. And then I'm going to pour that down his throat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Roll it up. God, I wish Una didn't use hers on first day for no fucking reason because she didn't need it. <laughs> right. I literally just drank mine as soon as I found it. <laughs> Dex. What's this? I don't know. Maybe it'll make me more powerful. Back to life again, oh, you check. And I'm going to, like, <laughs> shake a little bit, just be like, what the fuck? And step in front of him and face off against this guy. A, a threat to run away. All right. Um, so that's one ally back up. The uh, one inside of Avril's hand is going to start in the air swinging at Avril. <laughs> <laughs> So that's a 22 to hit. Oh, yeah, that'll hit. Okay, that's going to be six bludgeoning damage. I look him dead in his eyes and say, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, I just imagine this guy getting clocked in the chin, then back. coming back and be like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> just like one of those, like his head goes like back and then he slowly looks down like, Ooh. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Um, so the orb is going to make an action. Oh. Um, so Blackwell, um, you start to see these terrifying visions. Um, and you see all of your allies and the enemies turn into these nasty, like, bug-like horrors. Um, yeah, they they look like they're coming at you, too. <laughs> um, and that's going to bring us to Nietzsche. Wait, wait, wasn't there another one down there where Una was? Yeah, it's one on the other side of me. Yeah. Oh, oh okay, he went up there, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to pick my cards up off the floor once again. Okay. <laughs> And run away. <laughs> okay. uh, and then I'm going to throw a ray of frost at this guy right here. Okay. Good move. Um, I don't remember. Is that is that an attack roll? I believe so, yes. Uh, Those are some really cool looking cards. 17. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. 17 will hit. I don't know what the damage is. <laughs> uh, looking up, right? Ray of Frost. Don't know what the damage is, baby. My computer is uh, thinking. Okay, that is a. It is a spell attack. A one d eight cold damage, and the speed reduced is reduced by ten feet until the start of your next turn. So okay. five. Five. All right. Good one. All right. Uh, you start. You blasted right to the face. Its face freezes over, and explodes with this ghostly fire. I need. Runner and Avril to make me... Oh, and this other guy to make me a uh, constitution saving throw. Uh, let's roll again the mouth. Ooh. That's a six. <laughs> this is We're doing great. <laughs> six and an eight. So, so the other guy rolled just as bad. Uh, he got a 20 on his save. That's, God that's, damn it. that's bad. We're doing oh. great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys take three radiant damage as it bursts with this white flame. Oh, uh, that's that's cold. Super hot. powerful what? card. <laughs> <laughs> you should definitely save that one. I will. Uh, well, it's it's gone now. <laughs> Damn it. Right. Anything else for your turn? <laughs> no, that's not how these no. work. Okay. <laughs> All right, Blackwell, uh, you see these terrifying monsters start running at you. What, what do you do? Um, to start out, can I try to resist it? Kind of like, like, like I've, I've went through my murderous rampage when I first transformed, so I'd kind of equate it to that. Hmm. Let me see. Blackwell jumps over the table and kills Nietzschek again. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty far. I'm definitely going after the closest thing. Okay. Um, okay, so yeah, you see this shadow um, writhing around you, like spinning in circles. Uh, I'll let you make a charisma saving throw. It's going to be a DC of 17 <laughs> to try to expel the 
the God, thing. God, another one? Jesus Christ. So, yeah, I guess I'm coming to it. I'm going to rip the baseball bat out of my uh, out of my bag and just start wildly swinging with a murderous fucking, fucking lust. lust for this rope, rope rock, rock, dude. Okay. Yeah, this is the closest one to you, so that totally makes sense. Go ahead and roll that attack. Okay. Yeah, yeah seven. seven. You're totally seven. missing and slamming to the table. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're... Avril, you look over, you see uh, the, uh, Blackwell slam his bat into the table next to the statue. The way he's looking at you, you're not sure if that was meant for, for him or you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like typically you guys see me and it's like real weird cartoony kind of shit. But this is like weird psycho shit. <laughs> uh, all right, who knows? Need you to make uh, me a death save. Alright, uh, here we go. <laughs> nat 20, nat 20, nat 20. Uh, no, that's a two. <laughs> oh, man. It was so close! I knew! I thought it could have been really dope. At I least know. it's not a one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright, so that's one fail for you, Una. Uh, yep. <sighs> did you roll the order? Did that? I'm, I'm testing out my 20s. I just rolled a third one. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Uh, the other statue runs up to you, Avril, and it's going to make a tag. Damn, son. <laughs> Quit, wait, don't waste that 15. That is a crit. I just, I just rolled four, four ones. ones and a two. All right, Avril, that's going to be eight plus one bludgeoning damage, so nine nine bludgeoning for you. All right. Now I'm starting to hurt a little bit. All right. Um, Avril, that's going to bring us to your turn next. All right, bonus jacks and second wind. Hmm, good move. Uh, it's a D10 plus three. Yeah. Well, four health. Back. That was a bad one. Right? Yeah, you. You get that burst of energy. <laughs> so got an action left and movement. All right, I kick back at the one that fucking uh, just hit me with that crit as hard yeah. as I can. Okay. Um, 18 plus 7. That'll hit. 7 plus 5. So 12. 12, yeah. And then I just keep squeezing the other dude's head, and he takes the defense still. Fuck. One. <laughs> okay. Better, better than none, so... Better than none. All right. Yeah, it's... It looks like it's hurting, uh, both of them, actually. Um, All right. <laughs> doing my job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Runner, that's going to bring us to your turn. I just yell at, get the ghetto. Five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Uh, twenty gets me right there. As I'll spin around this guy, and then I'm going to cast uh, Wither and Bloom again. Nice. So the I'm going to cast on those two droids. They need to give me a con saves. Fourteen. Okay, so twenty. Oh, sorry, hold on. Who are you letting roll the uh, hit die? Um, not a great fucking roll. Um, Una is going to roll a hit die. I was going to say, can it reach Una? Yeah, that's what, that's what I was worried about. Yeah. That's the whole reason oh, I'm doing it. Perfect, yeah. yeah. So Una, roll a hit die and add uh, oh, okay. four to it. All right. Roll a hit die like you're taking a rest, so add your modifier to it and everything. Okay. That is a ten and a four. 
on the con. They, they both take three necrotic damage. Okay. Woo! I get the max on that. Nice, Very and you can and you can add you can add four to that, so you get fourteen total. Awesome! Thank you. And I, I guess I'll just uh, get a little bit left moving. I'll spin back around that way. That'll be my turn. Um, yep, you got your your teammate uh, back up, and the statue is gonna slam at you, runner. Checks. That is a crit. That is like three points in a row, bruh. Man, you just stole our luck. <laughs> Damn. That's gonna be seven bludgeoning damage. Ooh, you. I take that one. All right. Um. So Blackwell, the orb did not like that you tried to expel it from from you. Um, that tracks. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna use its action to uh, have these these terrible images and the screams just be overwhelming and. You lose sight of what's in front of you and you fall back unconscious. Oh. Wow. That escalated quickly. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh not making death okay. safe, just unconscious. Um You're taking a nap. <laughs> yeah, just, just taking a nap. <laughs> well, release the orbs in my bag. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm not gonna end up swinging on you guys at any point. <laughs> yeah, you guys yet. <clears throat> You guys see that shadow start to uh, expend from the orb again and starts to manifest into this... Can't make it out, but it looks like it's trying to form into some kind of figure above Blackwell. Wow. Oh, shit. That and sounds great. Knee check, that's going to bring us to your turn. Uh, okay. I am going to... Um... Uh, draw a card. Okay. And, uh, I'm going to go right there. All right. Um, that's going to bring us to Blackwell, who is unconscious. And we will go to Una, who is back up and, and running. What, what do you do, Una? <laughs> um, well, she's not going to stand. Well, no, she does have to stand up to do her, her my, spells. So she's going to get back up. Hand. Okay. Still... Spits blood, uh, spits a little blood, and then uh, does a firebolt on that one. Okay. Are you fucking kidding me? Eleven <laughs> is unfortunately not going to hit on that one. Uh, <laughs> that um, is all she can do. <laughs> yeah, the, the firebolt goes wide, right past its face. Um, Actually, I will move. Half my movement backwards, like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so this one is gonna go. Um... It's the one in uh, Avril's hand. Um, he's gonna swing at you for a nineteen. That'll hit. Okay, that's gonna be six bludgeoning damage. All right. At least they're rolling really bad crit damage. Yeah. That's true. All right, yeah. Avril. That's going to bring us to your turn. All right. So I yank the one on the table and, like, pull him off the top of the table and put him in the square directly below me on screen. Um, okay. And then I 
like hold him down on the ground with one hand and then just like swipe at the knees of the other guy with a punch. Okay, go ahead and roll me an attack. Seven plus that I think it's, I forgot, I think it's seven. Yeah, plus seven. That's exactly enough to hit. Hell yeah. Oh, that's not great damage. Three plus five, eight damage. Ooh, yeah, you take out its kneecaps, and it explodes in a white flame. Go ahead and uh, runner and Avril, go ahead and make me a constitution saving throw. And the other robot, because I pulled him into it too. Okay, give me yep. just a second. Constitution, you said? Yep. You got a 22. 15 plus 4. A 19. 19, 12. Okay, you guys both save, uh, so you do not take the radiant damage for now. As the other guy did save as well. All right, and then I take the other guy's head and I slam it into the ground with my second arm, with my bonus action. Okay. That's a crit. Ooh, very nice. Five, seven, eight plus five. Eight plus five? Yeah, you That's slam five. it directly into the ground. It splits in half. Go ahead and make me another constitution save. <laughs> yes. 14 plus four. Yeah, that's eight. enough to save. So you don't take... You're you're ready for that last blast. <laughs> you're you're ready to go down. Um, Hell yeah! Dismantle those fucking bots. All right. Um, so, um, the orb starts to manifest into the or the shadow that was coming from the orb starts to manifest into a, a figure right above, uh, kind of floating above uh, Blackwell. Oh. Um, looks like this mask dude. Uh, he's got oh. like this glowing purple light that comes out of his face area. It looks like it's almost like burning like fire. Uh, the uh, yeah, the on ominous shape wears hooded black robes, which disguise all but the figure's sickly clawed hands, glowing, and a pointed mask. He says. Worthless, pathetic meddlers. I won't have my plans thwarted again, and I'll have my vengeance on Strixhaven. Soon enough, you will all pay. Yeah, you guys are all gonna pay. <laughs> <laughs> Una does a slight head tilt. <laughs> <laughs> he says, all of you will pay. And he points over to you, and you check. Are you, are you sure I got this sweet armor? I'm pretty sure it's from you. Hmm. Have you decided to join the Auric? That's, well, that's, how else would I have gotten the this, this cool? He says, attack your friends, prove your worth. Uh, <laughs> see, the thing about this, this is my monster right here, and that's they don't really move. <laughs> So if the, if they come over here, I uh, you got it, boss. <laughs> he, uh, he just looks at you and he says, "Lies, you are no Warwick. I am useless right <laughs> now. This, is, this uh, didn't work, did it? <laughs> I've already done so much battling my friends, I'm just all out of juice, Bob. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you missed it. I really put it all on the line just a minute ago. He starts to shout in frustration. Um, and the orb starts to crack, uh, breaking uh, Blackwell free from his charm, but the figure manifests over to um, Nietzsche. Great. I'll leave the boy alone. 
Um, runner, uh, it's actually your turn. So, what what do you do? Um, the only sensible thing to do right now is cast magic missile at this fucking smoke man. Okay. Oh yeah, tracks. I was gonna try and punch it. I don't know how sensible that is though. But that is all I can. Do. Hey, 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 maybe, maybe, maybe one of us grabs the teacher and books it. Maybe, maybe the strong crow dude. Yeah, uh, you that's probably a good call, because I, I don't think I can fight that thing. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, not without any of my magic shit. I think I'm about to get my head ripped off. So that is nine. You have six health. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, and it's. Then, you does see it look the, like I did anything? Yeah, you see the shadows start to kind of rip apart in, in pieces. It kind of comes back together, but it's it definitely looked like it, it hurt a little bit. Looks like he's vulnerable. <laughs> and uh, Mom didn't raise no fool. I'm backing up. 5, 10, 15, 20, <laughs> 25. Uh, 30 for good measure with the table and between. And then, then, video, game then time. video game time. A 20 minute timer pops up in the corner and it's like <laughs> time until Onyx shows up to save our asses. <laughs> <laughs> shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! <laughs> As I back away. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, with that, uh, Knee check, that's going to bring us to your turn. Okay. I am going to uh, have the jackal bite the teacher. The teacher? Okay. No. Oh, yeah, because she's just unconscious. Yeah, that's going to be... Try to knock her ass out. Or... Yeah, it's, it's advantage on the attack roll, and then it's a critical hit if it, if it succeeds. Ooh. Yeah, that's going to do it. Uh, Okay, so that's 2d4 minus 1. 2d4 <laughs> minus 1. So 3 <laughs> damage. Okay. See, uh, I'm, I'm totally doing exactly what you want me to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be back here. Go ahead. Hmm. They are totally my friend. I promise. Go ahead and roll a performance check with advantage. Ooh, okay. Okay. Uh. 15. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he, you see the figure start to look at you. It looks like it was about to come down on you. And he just kind of sits back. It's very good. He says, you will fight with me. <laughs> yes. When we get to Um. <laughs> yeah. Anything else for you, Nietzsche? Uh, yeah, I'm going to throw a card right there. Okay. Playing it face up or face down? Uh, face down. Okay. Oh, I accidentally dropped it up on the, in the, on the top. That's okay. Oh, there as it is. long as I know I you're it. playing it face down. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I'll just leave it there then. Okay. I actually don't see the card, but that's fine. As long as you can see it, work it. <laughs> oh, there. I mean, how do you know it's a trap if you can see it? I found oh, it. Right. There we go. There it is. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Um, real quick, I'm gonna. <coughs> I tried to set that where it plays on face down automatically, and see if that's still working. Did it give you an option to pick whether you wanted it face up or face down? Or did it just play it face up? 
Uh, I just dragged it and it went face up. Okay. It's face down for us. I can't see what it is other than it's a card. Yeah, I've I've put it in the black and flipped it. Oh, uh, okay. It, sh- it should be playing face down now, so I don't know why that changed, but okay. Anything else for you to check? Uh, nope. That is that is it for your boy. All right. Uh, Blackwell, you have a little bit of a headache still, but you're starting to wake up. You're kind of confused about what, what just happened. <laughs> All right. Drag myself to my feet. Um, look around, make sure nobody's hurt. Everybody looks fine. As far as, uh, Define you know, we are as a <laughs> yeah. team. <laughs> yeah, me, me checking out owner are like, define fine! <laughs> I am peeing my armor in this corner back here. Uh, you do see up yeah. um, below you, there's a cracked orb. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay, the orb is cracked, so I'm not as... Um, uh, it's not, it's as, not important. as important as it was. Obviously, but I, just, but, but I do see this guy who's giving off this very bad vibes, very bad aura. Very much so, yeah. And, and I'm going to guiding bolt at him. Okay. Yeah. Eighteen hit. Uh, an eighteen will in fact hit. Yes. Yay. Yay. 16 radiant damage. Ooh, very good. Yep, that, um, you see it start to, like, kind of writhe back as, uh, this blast of radiant damage pierces through the shadow. No, it looks, it's looking at you now, Blackwell. It's like, I'll take <laughs> care of you. Um, anything else, Blackwell? Uh, no. Uh, no. I am very serious mode right now. All right. Una, see this thing in the corner by Nietzsche. What do you do? Well, this is not something I need to deal with right now, but fighter bolt! <laughs> okay. Right at it. Oh, beautiful 17! Battle here. Like Muff is like, why guy, aren't you guys running? <laughs> <laughs> There's ways out of this. Seventeen more. Yeah. Ooh, very good. A game. pretty nine. Yeah, it's. All right, and then Una will uh, slightly step back towards the door. <laughs> All right, with that. That's, uh... <laughs> that's how she rolls. <laughs> so with the the radiant damage and the firebolt hitting him, uh, you start to see like it the tail of the shadows start to pull back towards Blackwell. Um, and Avril, it's going to be your turn. All right. Um, Luna has no idea Blackwell has the orb because she was knocked out when he picked it up. It's true. <laughs> I'm going to move 15 feet up to the square right below the teacher uh, and scoop her up. She shouldn't be able to resist or anything, and I'm pretty sure I'm plenty strong enough to pick her up. Okay. And then, uh, that's an action still to grab her, right? Uh, yes. Okay, and then... Plus ten. Ten? Okay, yeah. So ten to there, and then I will... So then I have... Yeah, then I'll go ten down to the other side of the carrying her. Because that's half movements when I'm carrying somebody. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, I yell out over my shoulder, uh, trying to act, to noticing what Nietzsche was doing. And I say, you traitor. You will pay for this in the end, Nietzsche. And then start to run towards the door. <laughs> Help. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> Part of me feels we all failed a deception check on me, Jack. 
This thing. The dragon's like, oh no, I'm gonna die here. This thing flies over to to Blackwell. Um, after that uh, spell of radiant damage, and it is going to use this ability. Uh, it's actually going to move. Yeah, I think it can get there. Oh, yeah, it's got plenty of movement. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I need Avril and Blackwell to make me a strength <laughs> saving throw. Oh, so it's, oh, said strength? Strength saving throw. Ooh. Stop, Stop throwing, throwing fucking dice and dice in the corner and the scraping. <laughs> <laughs> It keeps throwing, throwing, it, throwing it, in it in the corner and then just gets like jammed. I I think you need to refresh the screen. So they won't do that anymore. So together. So together, that's a twenty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it's a so a five and a fifteen. I take it. Yeah. Okay, so the 15 will save. Um, the four, or the the five, and the Dean's four uh, will... So I think she automatically fails anyway. Yeah, she fails strength saving throws, so she fails either way. Um, those are going to both fail. Um, So take. Oh, I didn't roll the damage. Ooh, okay, so that's going to be uh, nineteen necrotic damage for Ooh. Blackwell and the the dean. Ooh. Oh, I'm, glad, I'm glad the dean's stronger than us. <laughs> I, I assume she's stronger than us. Yeah. <laughs> she still looks to be breathing. Uh, you said you said nineteen? Nineteen necrotic. <sighs> um and that will bring us to Renan's turn. Wow, okay. Um How lucky do I feel? I forgot my face is completely covered by a mask, too. It is? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is kind of perfect. Like, if you could convince him that, like, you are working for him, then he can, like, give you a directive and go do his own thing, and then you can GTFO. <laughs> Just, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll know what he's trying to get done. Dude. That was probably the best call you could make there, <laughs> As you launch your missiles into it, the first one hits, and you see it start to like sink into Blackwell's uh, coat. The second and third one hit, and it kind of just like forces itself back into the orb. Oh, oh, oh shit! Hell yeah! You gotta wait for the order. Back up. Get the teacher. Get everybody. Back up. Back up. Fuck it! Fuck it! Fuck it! And I'm going. And I'm gonna back away to there. And you know. right, you oh, guys are we're out of initiative. Uh, I'm chugging this potion. Does anybody know yeah. how to get pee out of armor? <laughs> <laughs> oh god! I'll get out of the curse too. Yeah, I don't think we know that he can't take it off yet either. So we're no, just like, we'll figure it out later. It's time to run. You uh, ain't no press of digitation. <laughs> yep. Nah, uh, I do. There you go. There you go. Please help yeah, me. I just, as long as we're in strict saving, I got press of digitation. <laughs> Una will clean it up. You just got to tell her. I don't know why I'm in my gesture voice, but that's as close as I'm going to get to Una today. Please help me. Well, I got to, I got to a little. 
All right, because all right. We got the teacher. The we got the orb. Let's get the fuck out. Let's go. Uh, anybody want, anybody want to try to stick around and search? I don't. No. Honestly, I, I want to get the fuck out of here before I get expelled. Okay, well. <laughs> that, that too. Runner is a little curious. Do I see anything interesting on one of the tables? I'm more um, concerned about getting the teacher to help, so. Let me see here. Um, so it looks like this this place is a spacious extra extra dimensional library. Um, it looks like a duplicate from the the previous room you were in, but a lot cleaner. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to leave out. Nichek, don't forget to pick up all your cards, otherwise you're gonna lose them. Well no they'll they'll come back when I shuffle my deck. Alright. Wait, what? Well it's magic. You have some very weird cards, you know this, yes? I mean this guy pulls stuff out of his face. You can you can unsummon them though, right? Well I mean yeah, I, I yeah, 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 I could. You should, should probably do that so that there's no proof that we were here. Well, there's, there's destroyed statues all over the place. I can't, but... had he... <laughs> they can't lead it back to us, okay? Like, Runner, Runner go ahead and make I, me an investigation. I'm carrying the teacher right now. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not talking about the teacher. I'm talking about, like, people that are going to be like... Uh, oh, someone it's broke into yeah, this secret area. faculty area that they yeah. weren't supposed to be in. <laughs> and oh, yeah, and who in this entire school uses cards? <laughs> well, I think it's okay. Professor Onyx told us to come down here, and we saved a teacher's life. I'm pretty sure we're going to be rewarded. My DNA is back there in the corner. Oh, no. Teacher's still back there. <laughs> DNA is back there in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Una, Una did spit blood when she got back up, so... <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> well, like, okay. Uda got punched pretty hard. I mean, that's got to make her cough something up. So she, like, she's still got some blood on her face, and so she don't look nice. Oh my, how, I, got I, a, wanna, I got a new thing. I just want to comment the fact that the, the, I did more healing than the cleric then, and I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm really confused. I'm having an identity crisis. Um, I don't even know what I'm playing anymore. God, I, was, I, wanted, I wanted so bad to heal stuff, but I was also like, I got to do other stuff right now because I'm the one in position. <laughs> I'm so glad my next level I'm taking is in Bard. <laughs> so, um, God. So I can you... say, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> so, Runner, you, <laughs> you find uh, lying on the. Um, the work tables here, you find five uh, historical relics from Dean Tullis and Dean Plarg's ongoing research. Uh, they look like they're mostly mundane stone and jade vessels. That's that seems right point. up your alley. Mm -hmm. um, um, just like little containers or vessels like the orb was a vessel vessel? Yeah, like a like a relic like the orb was. Um, you additionally find uh, a Lorehold primer on the table back where Dean Paulus was was sitting. Oh, really? Uh, new, new, new thing. Whenever, Whenever you, go down, you go down, draw a circle of blood. Circle of blood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I am. In, <laughs> I'll leave the. I'll leave the vessels. I will grab the primer. I'll go upstairs, sit in a chair, and uh, start reading the primer while we're waiting for other people to show up. Okay. So you you guys are going to be waiting, waiting here for someone to come find you. Yeah, I mean that's what Runner would want to do. Wait here until uh, somebody comes finds us, or the dean wakes up, whichever happens first. I'm trying to get the dean. We to we, we should get the fuck out of here. I, I, I will. Oh, Una's we, gonna go. I mean, why don't we just go into our office and wait there? So that we way, we have nothing to hide, guys. We have nothing to no, hide at all. Like, uh, in here. 
unconscious and been hurt really badly. I'm trying to get her to a doctor. Yeah, does she, does she look like, like does she right look now we're in like a pocket dimension that a lot of people aren't going to know about? Like, well, like, we could have to. We should probably be somewhere where we can be found. So, yep. the, well, that's what I'm saying. We can walk upstairs, but I think somebody in the east needs to keep an eye on the orb to make sure somebody doesn't come and take it. The I have the, I have the orb still. He does. Oh, you have the orb. Oh, then let's just go upstairs. We'll go to uh, the dean's office. We'll hang out in her office until uh, everybody else shows yeah. up. Now, the, once they put down the. The whole attacking things talk. upstairs. Wherever and Blackwell, I think we, I think we're going here. to get away scot free well, with we're... those changing answers. <laughs> we're in, in lore hold. I'm pretty sure there's somebody here that can heal stuff. Yeah. Besides, yeah does she, besides, look, does she look like she's uh, she's just unconscious, right? <laughs> she doesn't look like she's like on death's door or anything. Is she severely wounded? Um, go ahead and roll a medicine check for me. Oh. Now, we should get you out of this outfit, Nijak. I'm doing and great. Uda's going to start trying to, like, pull I need a... Uh, I, don't, I don't know this, guys. So, there, can I get a second so, opinion? So, <laughs> okay, here's a here's second opinion. I'm actually a doctor. If we get out of here, I'll help her. <laughs> but I don't want to do it in here. Yeah, you, you put your ear up to her. You don't hear anything for a long time. You're like, oh, my God, she's dead. And then you hear a faint little breath. So she's she's still breathing. <laughs> I mean, she's alive. That's a great. Why are you guys so afraid of this room? I'm just going to like walk around, kind of put my arms out. There's nothing wrong with this room. Una points <laughs> to the crumbled rubble of the statues because of those fuckers. I, I can't get we this. We already broke those fuckers. I can't get there's this helmet no off. Fuckers. Like this is the only place where we know there's no threats because we took them all out. This is also oh, was a hidden um, room that we didn't find without the lanterns. So <laughs> yeah, but so, um, matter. find us in here. You re you think oh. that her? You think Dean Augusta is going to be upset that we saved her life in her own secret room? Like it's her room. She's not going to be mad at us. We saved her life. Uh, she might it's be just mad logical. Me. I changed my answers. Oh, oh my guest. yeah. Okay, yeah, y'all might y'all might want to run. Yeah, like, like I, I know I'm in fucking trouble, all right, because of that thingy we fought before we came in here. Well, I mean, I didn't see shit, so I'll meet back up with y'all later. Or... I can't take my shoes off either. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, knee check. This thing ain't coming off of you very easily. Bill. Yeah, you need to wait for the teachers so... to show up so they could like do something about this. Uda yeah. keeps picking me up by my I'm head. Convinced, <laughs> I've convinced Dodwell to carry the teacher to her main office, the like first one we went into from the hallway, so we can put her up in the chair, and then I'm going to heal her there. Okay, so some of you guys are splitting off. No, I mean, I, I plan on hanging out in this area, so I'll just walk upstairs, too. It's not like we can't walk right down here if we wanted to. Okay. Well, Blackwell uh, has the... Luna's actually going to make a mad dash back to the uh, room where the tests are. She's going to change her answers back. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, okay. Let me switch you guys to the other map real quick. <laughs> well, she's got two options here. Either she's going to roast those tests so there's no evidence, or she's going to fix her answers Ooh. and put them back. <laughs> I mean, I mean we killed the ghost thing that was watching it. Yeah... Okay, so you guys go back carrying Dean Tullis through the, the portal. Uh, you find yourself back into the, the study room. Una, you dash off to go change your answers. You don't see anything in the room. Um, black hey, you... I need to borrow a lantern just to be sure. <laughs> uh, I'll hand her mine. Here, here you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So while while doing all that, uh, Runner, you start to read over the primer. Uh, there is that. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you're gonna turn to it. Actually, actually, a couple of us should already have some. I don't have. Uh, so Blackwell and Avril are leaving. I have a silver quill primer. We put the we put, put the we're putting the teacher in at our main desk here. 
at this desk here. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm, and then I'm going to heal her. Them out. Okay. So, I, um, I don't know. <laughs> before, before you heal her, uh, go ahead and roll a medicine check for me with the advantage. Uh, I got it. Like, well. Oh, yeah. Ooh, very nice. Uh, nice. I feel like I'm yeah, cheating. so you, um, she got a little banged up, but she looks pretty good still. You, she's just asleep. Probably, it's like, exhausted from the, from the expunging. Right. Yeah, it's pro probably but due I'm to the, to bet the curse that was on her. She was under the effects uh, a lot longer than side. you were. So. Right. Yeah. Um, but she does seem to be free of whatever was uh, burdening, burdening her, so. Do I successfully um, change my answers back, or do I need to roll something for that? Uh, no, you you go back in there, uh, you see, like, the answers kind of roughly erased and change, and then they kind of get roughly erased again, so it looks pretty bad in those areas, but you you change it back to where you where they were. <laughs> it just looks like I messed up a bunch of times while writing, which, you know, makes it look like I was actually trying, so. <laughs> All <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Um, so. Wake, wake up. So, so <laughs> Av are you trying to wake up the, the Dean? Wake up. Una's gonna sit with Nichak because she's worried about him a little bit. But she won't actually like show she's worried. I'll stay with you, just for now. Yeah, runner's runner's exhausted. He's just gonna go kind of like lean against the wall, sit down, read until people show up. Um. So Avril, you kind of shake the bean, and she starts to wake up, and she's like, "Oh my head! Oh, what happened?" You were an asshole. You tried to fucking kill us! You were possessed by something that said it was going to get revenge on Strixhaven. That's about all we got out of it. We all, we all, we all, we all read the, um, her, 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 like, journal entries about finding the artifact. Um, so I would probably try to produce that for I'm going to touch that thing again. Yeah. Oh. Looking at your... Uh, not not the artifact. Produce the journal. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. And if you look here, you can see how your handwriting changed. It's the weirdest thing. Um, seemed like whatever it was must have taken control around this time, if you remember when that would have been. Right around here is when you became an asshole. She says, I, I, I remember writing the first one. The, the other ones I don't remember writing at all. What, What happened? I've... I was in my office. I don't, I don't know what happened. Well, I mean, the Maybe orb is called the orb of the orb is called orb of Extus. So I'm guessing Extus possessed you. Um, I'm gonna call, um, out. I'm gonna call out to uh, Nichet. Yes. <laughs> Nichet, uh, can you uh, do a little fashion show for a teacher here? Uh. Don't worry. She tries to hurt you. I'll burn her ass. I just like stick this spiked glove out into the doorway. <laughs> What's up? They can't take it off, or any of it, actually. It's it's fine. Everything's fine. I don't look like not a... fine. <laughs> okay, Uno, Uno, please pull him out. <laughs> Uno yanks him out by the hand. <laughs> His helmet won't come off. Yeah, he is. Um, like those, he is those things. Mm -hmm. She says, "Oh, oh my God! How did, how did that happen?" Yeah, how did that I happen, Nichek? We we saw you dressed regularly a sec, like before you went in to that room. The salad told me. That was weird. You walked through the closet associated portal. Associated with. Yeah, yeah, we didn't see the change. Yeah, we. Uh, you've been associated no. with uh, a group called the Oric. Um, some some um, dark being has had uh, corrupted you and was trying to get revenge on Strixhaven. It said, "I should have listened to Professor Onyx. She warned me about the Oric, but I didn't believe her. It's thought it was a bunch of hooey." 
Speaking that of Professor we have it contained Onyx, for now, but we need to get it to Onyx uh, so as soon as possible. Last we saw, she was protecting students in the uh, dance hall. Yeah, those... Apparently those you, had, uh, you had unleashed the, the guards on everybody. Can maybe you, like, turn that off? Yeah. Says, uh, as, as long as you're with me, nothing will hurt you. Let's, we need to get back to the biblioplex. We need to have an emergency council meeting for, for all the professors. Oh, uh, real quick, also just, to, you know, just to, to be on the above and board here. Do you mind if I hold on to this book? And I'll show her the lower hold primer. Uh, of course, you saved my life. Uh, that's the least I can do. Weed. Una will hand back the lantern. Like, here, you can have this back now. If you want to hold on to it, you can hold on to it. No, I got my squishy plushie. It's not fair I keep this. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So <laughs> just, uh, just just to make sure I know what's going on, I'm just uh, going to wear this out and it's going to be fine? Uh, she says, no, you, you can't be seen like that. Uh, um... Yeah, that's, that's a fucking problem. Disguises himself again. Um, she she points over at you, Blackwell, and is like, uh, "You go, go into that room over there and get a cloak off of Dean Plog's desk." And she points over to this door here. Oh yeah, I'll just, oh yeah, I'll, I'll just do that. Okay. Uh, so as you walk in oh. there, um. See a uh, queen desk and several stiff-looking chairs that fill this astute office. Uh, behind the desk, between various framed academic honors, hangs a, a mace with a spherical head. Uh, on the desk, uh, there or behind the desk, there's a chair and it has a a long black cloak over it. Nice. I'm going, to, I'm going to bypass the mace, uh, assuming it belongs to the teacher, and grab the cloak. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, you you grab that cloak. Um, yeah. She says, "Come on, students. We need to hurry and warn the others before before anything else bad happens." What about the Thappen Frether? What about the been a very long day. <laughs> um, so she leads you guys back to the um, the baby little plex. Uh, she just calls all the way there. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, she calls together um, the faculty members to, to meet up in there. This, it is late at night right now. Like most of the rest of the students are asleep after the ball. Uh, everybody's pretty tuckered out. Um, they do have you guys attend the meeting since you are the, the ones that seen all this stuff firsthand. Um, they are kind enough to offer healing around, so there's plenty of people that can heal you up. Yay! Uh, <laughs> Una will take that offer. <laughs> so, uh, we're just ready for the long rest. <laughs> so ready. So Dean, told oh, should we just do? I was going to say, should we do a short rest or not? Uh, well, you'll probably just take a long rest after this, honestly. So if you just want to go ahead and take a long rest. Yeah. Um, all right. So uh, you guys also gain a level. So that that is a level. Uh, hey. um, take, care yeah, take care of that while we're going through the story. Yeah. So Dean Tolis uh, pulls together an emergency meeting. And she makes sure the rest of the faculty knows about Exodus' threat to the university, a threat every professor should take seriously. Um, she does cover for any mishaps that could have happened with you guys. She takes full responsibility for you guys being there, so you guys aren't in any, any kind of trouble. Woo! Um, she does point out, or the, the faculty talks back and forth, and they decide that it is best to conceal the information from the rest of the student body. Uh, for the time being, to avoid panic. <laughs> That's fair. Um, I can't keep a secret to save her life. <laughs> um. Yeah. Was there anything you guys wanted to add to the the meeting? Uh, Una will add. Oh, there might have been some chaos over at the um prismatic call. Just saying, I had a gut feeling about something bad might have happened over there. Who uh, is um, trying to conceal the uh, fact she let her uh, animals out? Okay. Now, now that we have um, 
a bunch of powerful mages around, I would probably ask them about if any of them have the ability to break a curse. Oh, yeah. Him. Um... <laughs> Yes, they would. Uh, you you know you that uh, you could you can tell that you're you're broken free from the curse after uh, after it was cracked in the. Um, oh, I'm, I mean. Oh, I'm, I mean. I mean, knee check for knee check. Okay. Um, let me see. Yeah, because if we're going to keep this a secret, he needs to look like himself. So the Arnold does look badass. Sure, someone does. Wait, I will double check. Honestly, it's super cool looking. Oh, well, well with this, you just won't. It won't uh, be like you can't take it off, right? Um. So, Nichek, you you are currently attuned to it. You know that if you cast a remove curse or greater greater restoration or something similar, that will remove a curse. It'll turn it to just regular plus one leather armor. Okay. So you'll lose the the leveling effects of it, but you will be able to take it off of that. <laughs> decisions, decisions. <laughs> so wait. So wait. If he levels it up first and then breaks the curse. Would the leveling effects go still go away? Um, can we say that while I was uh, while we were hanging out waiting, I cast I like ritual cast identify on it so I can tell him how it works. That way, sure. we're not meta gaming. He knows like this is how the armor functions. You can level it up if you put enough effort in. You might even be able to master it. Sure can. Um, let me pull up this document. I didn't put it in a handout yet. Let me put up. There's a lot of very powerful magic users here. Maybe one of them can teach you how to control it. See, I'm worried about us causing a panic because of how he looks. He can't take it off without the curse thing, right? I don't know. I mean, maybe that he can master the point that he can hide it or remove it at some point. I mean, their agents can't have to be able to function within Strixhaven to be able to infiltrate. That's if fair, they're just too. locked away in armor, then that would make that rather difficult. Speaking of which, uh, we should probably, you know, hey, and me, Jack, who did you get that armor off of again? I got it off Killian. Yeah, he, he's apparently one of them. And uh, oh, there's uh, also three students that probably need medical assistance. Uh, we left them oh, unconscious fuck. by a lantern pole. They're going to need some help. Oh, I right. tried not to hit them hard, but I, I hit them hard. So uh, as you guys mentioned Killian, one of the uh, silver quill beans, I did not uh, he shakes his head and he kind of like walks over to one of the bookshelves and just punches it. He says, uh oh, that, that damn kid. I told him not to do it. Um, that he kind of murmurs to himself. Oh, Uno loves the, the, the so she's like, So you knew that's my son. Ah, oh, that's, that's a bummer. That that sucks. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> um, okay, here is the for the identify. It's, <laughs> it's gonna be like he is so grounded. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, I'll make sure I give Nichek all that info <laughs> so he can make an informed decision. Yeah, so um, if you start to master the armor,
Um, it does. It does not uh, come off still. However, uh, you do gain some pretty pretty sweet effects. That side blade. Wow. Yeah. So that that's totally your call, uh, Nichek. But I, there is a dean that can remove that curse if you so choose. So, could I maybe just get, like, a mask or something that would cover up this mask? Um, so the the administrator, uh, Tavia, is there, and he hands you a, um, one of the mask charms from the masquerade ball, and, um, he start he kind of waves his hand over it, and it starts to turn a golden color. They, they were silver before, um... He says, uh, "This this is your f- the end of your third year, so this will last you through the the remaining year. Um, it won't take it off, but it'll disguise you." Sweet double agent. <laughs> um, oh. Una would like to insh- insight check on hearing double agent. <laughs> oh. Um, it, it does only have one charge, though, so if that gets dispelled or anything, it is, it's gone. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't have any armor. Yeah. So you guys, um, yeah, was there anything else you wanted to ask or put into the the conversation here? Um, 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 did we give them the two orbs? Um, there's only one, I, I believe. <laughs> two, two. Oh, there was the one. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's still together. It's just cracked. Um, well, because well, I was saying I had one and Nietzsche had one. Oh, right. that one became that, his armor. That that was his armor. His oh, was oh, a okay. Yeah. Wow. Um. If you choose to, you you can. Uh, they probably ask for it. Yeah, yeah. I think Kisty was rolling. <laughs> I think Kisty was rolling inside to see if uh, Nichek meant double agent against us or the work. She's uh, just <laughs> yeah against the orc. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Whoever's got the strongest will amongst you, this thing has something living in it, and. Um, it wants to get out and take revenge on the school. Somebody named Extus? Please make it go away. You guys want me to hold on to it? No! No! no. I'm just asking. Just, I'm just wondering. <laughs> oh, um, oh, oh, Admiral, Admiral you, you should mention to, to them with. that, um, added funny things you should mention to them that, uh, my, that right. my aura changed yeah. from yellow to purple when it took over my body. Oh, yes. Uh, so here he was, burning me with his radiant energy, like he does whenever he takes his head wrap thing. Pretty cool. Then, boom. Purple. Everywhere. He also started kind of going crazy and swinging a bat at me, I think. Uh, then he just passed out. I missed him swinging a bat at you? What the fuck? Yeah, he missed, though. Terrible when you're a madman. You gotta focus. <laughs> I, missed, I missed his purple head. Was, how I how can you was, miss that head? It's so big. Like he seriously. Was asleep. Actually, you were asleep too. Everybody was, was knocked out at one point. Don't let's just <laughs> me and him. And Una just points at her and Nichek. Like, no, I think it was just me and Nichek. Yeah, it was. Yeah, if anybody. Yeah, if anybody's curious about the head, I'm just gonna stand up, take off the mask, show them the glowing thing, put it back on. <laughs> Um, so, Runner, did you say uh, Exus's name out loud during during I did. Council? <laughs> he okay. totally did. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, so, Tavia um, kind of perks up as you say the, the name Exus, and he says, ah, should have known he was behind this. He swears revenge against Strixhaven. What? What? misunderstanding or beef does he have with Strixhaven? Like, what happened there? What history? 
Yeah, it'll be, it's, it would be nice to know, you know. He says, well, see, Extus, um, he used to be a student here at Strixhaven. He was actually a very good student. Um, he... His, his downfall was that he was all ego. Um, he believed he was the preeminent mage of the entire plane of Arcavios. <laughs> he asked the Elder Dragons to uh, place him as the Oracle. And the Five Founder Dragons, um, he would passed him over uh, for the role and gave it to... Um, her name. Uh, someone named Jodzi. Um, he grew a deep hatred for the Founder Dragons and Strixhaven, and he pledged to devote his life to destroying us. Uh, we didn't really take him too seriously, though. Like I said, he was just, just all ego. But it looks so like he wants to murder everybody in his workplace because he didn't get a promotion. Says, yeah, I, he, uh, pretty that's cringe. pretty cringe. Yeah, sounds really. like an asshole. Way worse sounds than like she. a well, lady. Like now, why she was such an asshole was he would do he was inside of it. Yeah, I, yeah. I can't say what, why he does what he does, but that seems to be the case. Question. It was all misty and smoky, uh, and I tried to punch it. Nothing happened. Is there something I can have to make it to where I can punch it next time? Yeah, we lit it on fire. Then more ways than one. I'm very happy about that. It did seem to go back into that orb, so be careful with it. Um, so for Avril, um... Uh... The, uh, one of the Quandrix professors speaks up and says, maybe you could spend a, a few weeks in, in Quandrix and uh, we can we can try to craft something for you. I'm in. Oh, I have I have a question. Um, since we helped out with this, uh, can I get my extra extracurriculars back? I mean, come on. This should count as extra credit. Uh, go ahead and roll a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, Una. Don't fail this one. Woo! <laughs> I'll take it. 21. 21. Hey, Tavia kind of looks at Dean Tullis and she, he says, uh, suppose one can be forgiven for... For such a thing, I can't give you a passing grade on the test. That's However, I, I will let you back into extra credit. Yes! Mm -hmm. uh, and you just hear Una start cracking her knuckles, like... <laughs> um, um, I will, I will uh, give back the Wand of Secrets, say I found it um, while we were looking for... Um, oh, it's Tullus, right? Uh, yes. <coughs> yeah. While we were looking for Telos, I found this Wand of Secrets. Um, I figure I should return this. Uh, I also saw a really nice looking mace, but uh, I didn't grab that one. So, well, th well, thank you for giving it back. I suppose I can't blame one for going through the, the mess in my office. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty messy in there. Oddly enough, Oddly enough, it would have helped us more before we found it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, true. <laughs> this is so true. <laughs> so the the meeting comes to a close uh, with everybody in, in agreement of, you know, keeping things under wraps for now. Um, the academic year uh, soon draws to a peaceful close. Um. Was there how, mu okay. how much damage did my animals cause in the in the prismatic dorms <laughs> while we were at the ball and all of this going on? Mm -hmm. Can I roll me a d100? 
All right. Because I believe it was two badgers and a giant rat. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, badger, giant badger, uh, rat. Giant rat. As you get back to the Prismari dorms, um, there is an absolute mess uh, in in the hallways. It looks like several several rooms in the hallway have been um, gotten to. <laughs> um, most of the students were either too too drunk or um, tired or didn't really notice, but there's quite a bit looking at you as you come into the dorm room, as you were the the only one whose room didn't really get messed with. Oh, no, Una would have trashed her own room just to not let anyone suspect. Okay. She just would make sure that it just looked thrashed, not damaged. Yeah, nothing looks super, super crazy, but it does look like there's a huge mess. What are you uh, all looking at me for? <laughs> One of, one of the enjoy. badgers comes out of a closet with a pangolin and goes like, ooh! <laughs> 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 um, oh, that's uh, where I left them all. <laughs> no, she doesn't say that. <laughs> the, um, one of the students that was uh, at the, the Bozan Tavern whenever you were investing, investigating there and uh, kind of comes up to you with his posse of people and says, I better not find out that this was you. Why uh, would you even think it was me? I don't do that kind of shit. Yes, I make animals, but seriously, do you think I leave them unsupervised? Hell, hell no. He kind of looks at you, looks around at the rest of the students staring. Uh, they all kind of go back into their, their dorms and he just kind of gives you a scoff as he walks off. Well, uh, it was crazy night already. Some of them are drunk. You don't think, you know, someone else could have done it? I don't know. <laughs> it says it was probably those silver quill bastards. Trying to <laughs> run us That's for the... No, yeah, yeah, it was so them. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the... <laughs> was there anything you guys wanted to do with the rest of your year? Uh, um... I I just wanted to work with the Quandrix on that and uh uh definitely keep up with some of those uh electives power lifting <laughs> electives. Okay, so you guys got uh, about three weeks of downtime, right? Uh Una is going to find the bitch who stole her idea and tussle. Like very secretly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, as I said, if uh, I'm allowed back in extracurriculars, then I would like to uh, look to joining the student majors of faith, just so I could preach about the blind fraternities. <laughs> okay. Uh, I would like to spend all my extra free time studying more about the snarl. How much gold do you have right now, Avril? Um... I don't have very much left. I got like <laughs> the auction. Yeah, I have some expensive things. <laughs> okay, trying to see if there's anything you could craft. Come to think of it, I don't. Did I put them in my notes? Some kind of uh, tattoo. Could you could he figure out tattoos? He's in a uh, silver quill, <laughs> and he hangs out with um, Runner. Runner, yeah. So I could I could teach him a little bit of how to tattoo. Potentially. Um, let's see here. I don't um, think I have put those dresses that I bought in. <laughs> You always trade hard up. Like it's a college that builds things; they probably can appreciate inventions. Let's see if you can trade one invention for another. 
Yeah, magical invention's probably not thing that they're going to want from me. Like, look, well, you, you got that stuff at the auction. <laughs> so maybe you can trade some you got from the auction? Yeah, the, true. What are you looking for? True, because I'm pretty sure one of those things I bought was very, very expensive. I just, I have to check my, on my computer notes, because that's where I wrote it, and now I can't turn my fucking computer on, so here we are. Oh, dang. Uh, I remember you buying, I think, two two of those dresses. I think yeah, one, I was bought like, one that was lower priced and one that was really expensive. I think one was 25 or 50 gold and the other was like 250, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I mean, we can always go back and rewatch it. Yeah. Yeah. It's in the episode. <laughs> it's long. It's official. It's canon. Mm -hmm. Take a little, it's take a little, uh, <laughs> take a little both Twitch break. and YouTube. <laughs> take a little um, break while uh, they go back and watch the footage. Yeah, we we can take a break. <laughs> yeah. uh, did um yeah, yeah. did, did, did the whole, I can't uh, turn my laptop on part. Did everybody level up and take a, a long rest? Because I'm still seeing some hurt people. I'm picking my feet oh. right now. I did not uh, put myself back at full health. So, uh, Nichek, was there anything you wanted to do with your downtime? Um, work on trying to figure out how this armor works. Okay. Uh -huh. Una would like to help him with that because she is very interested in that armor. Okay. Uh -huh. It Runners. looks fucking cool. <laughs> was there anything you wanted to get done? You guys got about three weeks. So if there was something you wanted uh, to do. Oh, I think you went to the restroom. Okay. Oh, no, no, I'm here. Is this um, like... Um, oh, okay. I just didn't realize I was muted, honestly. Um, <laughs> is this like an extracurricular kind of thing or just like uh, extra? It's three weeks of downtime uh, before the end of the year. Uh, you guys have completed your... You guys got, got one more test to do, but other than that, you don't really have much course study going on oh yeah if that's if that's the case like runner's still on a mission he's gonna study for the test but everything he's got into the next test yeah uh so to, if it does put into perspective i haven't spent any gold until now and i started with after selling all my weapons and stuff with like 400 almost five and i have like 50 now okay so i spent a shitload at that option <laughs> Okay. Um, um, I got a, I got a spiritual weapon now, so I'm trying to get you a uh, um, um, token for that. We on break right now, Randy? Uh, we can be. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a like a ten minute break or so. Well, all right. Sounds, sounds good to me too. Did I will you? run a three minute ad for us too while we're on break. Oh yeah, I yeah. will. Uh, I'll be right back. Bye guys. We'll be right back. Wrong one. There we go.
Oh, well, well, hello. Hello, everyone. I'm looking for a spell right now. And I think it is going to have to be this guy's son. I'll do some uh, Dragon's Guard Historical Society if I still got room to fit that in there. Um, did you load up that uh, that uh, token? Uh, the token for my spiritual weapon. It's going to be the voodoo oh. doll with the knife. Okay, I can do that for you. Just a second, I'll put that. The voodoo doll with a knife. Okay. Luna's going to take a job at the Bowen's Tavern. Okay. I'm just getting a lot a... of flaws today. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just like, I'm, I'm thinking like, since Una did kind of get the bag of tricks from the bartender <laughs> she might as well get a job and work there too to entertain people it only makes sense I want to do the intramural field because I can be a referee for sports I don't know What what uh, color do you want the ring around the token to be? Um, those don't really matter. I guess just keep it like white so it can easily be seen. Yeah. Yeah, I thought because it was transparent already, you'd just be able to use that. I figure I'd make it a little cool. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's see here. Okay. Here my... So, oh, no. and drop your spiritual weapon token here. And I'm definitely going to take the Magic Labs job. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Get this situated here. Tell them we're all adults because we're all just like, oh, we can work? Yeah, let's do that. Like, <laughs> let's make money. Well, Una, Una needs money, okay? <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we need... We, we need the money, um, and, uh, you know, we've already been here for three years, so um, me personally running out of stuff to uh, study regarding the blind eternities here. You guys got jobs? That's weird. You can always come and work at the tavern with me if you want yeah, me, Jack. Really? What? I mean, after I leave here, I'll probably just <laughs> hunt. Why would I want a job? <laughs> You'll be another year older. Your knee checked. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm a solid. I'm a solid fourteen. Jobs are now. for losers. <laughs> when you start calling people butt munch. <laughs> hey, if it's been one, oh yeah, because I, I was have twenty when we started job. school, so I'd be twenty three now. Oh shit. Uh, I was seventeen, so I guess I would be twenty now. It's been three years. Yeah. Una aged. Okay, so she still fucking looks fat ass. <laughs> Black, well, I got your token set up. I will go back through and add like stat for it later, but um, it's gonna be under 
party notes. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't. It doesn't really. I don't think it really needs stats. Um, just as long as I can throw out a token when I need to summon it, instead yeah. of you know. So if you just go under party, I'm gonna go through that rigmarole. Yeah, you should be able to drag that token. All right, perfect. Out. Thanks. Okay, uh, so for the for the armor, let's see here. Three weeks of intense training with a with a another mage to get, master the armor. Um, I will let you go ahead and each yeah. roll an insight check, uh, Una and me check. Natural twenty. There you go. And yeah, we go. Natural nineteen. Oh, (laughs) hell, freaking yeah! Yeah, you guys spend uh, a lot of time during your three weeks uh, in and out of the biblioplex, looking up any kind of research you can find on cursed items like this. Um, You know that. Uh, so Nietzsche, you know that you've gained the, the the ideal of vengeance, and that you will have your revenge on anyone that wrongs you. Um, you feel like the more you feed into that that want from the armor, uh, the more likely you are to to boast its power. Um, okay. So, you guys uh, finish up your three weeks. Um, actually, actually, have one more thing to do for runner. So, you said the. Did you know which one exactly you wanted to do there? Um. Let me go with the first. I'll go with the first one. Well, I'll lean into the whole blue mana thing more. Yeah. Pulse research. Second one was just for name recognition. Well, that's freaking cool. Learned about him in history class. <laughs> so you went you went for Urza's Revenge? No, I'm going to get comp- compulsive research. Pulse whatever research. that might be. Yeah. <laughs> Um, in the meantime, uh, you guys, well, while I'm figuring this out, you guys can pick uh, your fourth year classes as you are getting ready to take your last exam for your third year. Let me put those up here for you. Okay. Going with it, boy. If I have an option, I'm taking it. And did I not say that? Fantastic. You don't need to rush the if the compulsive research thing will take a little time. I don't mind waiting until next session for it. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll probably go ahead and, and do that. Yeah, that's completely fine with me. Okay. So um, for the fourth year courses, um, so. You guys can um, you guys can pick three of these fourth year courses um, up to three, uh, and you guys will also be enrolled in two required courses: uh, scrivening and symbology, and arcane herbology. 
Um, let me put these courses into the, the handout here. Super and arcane herbology, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had actually put this on a thing, but I guess I did not save it, so fun times. Get some time to finish my dinner. Okay. Those are your fourth year courses. So, let me down what you guys are. You already know what I'm taking. <laughs> I keep oh. failing illusory arts because I just keep making real stuff. <laughs> Eldritch and Arcane performances for Una. Freaking Presmari all the way. Wither Bloom through and through. Okay, so Nichek is taking um, extra planar cryptozoology. Sure. About that metaverse. <laughs> Which is three what is these? Lumamancy? The Lumamancy? Lumamancy. Yeah. I believe that's the study of like radiance. <laughs> uh, huh. I think that's. Una, you said you're taking Eld Eldric and Arcane performances. Yes. What is the what kind of class is that going to be? So we're all taking the general studies and then fire dancing for Una. I'm thinking. <laughs> Like using your magic for performance purposes. It's exactly. It yeah, Prismari is all about making your magic look cool. Yeah, but also being effective. Expression, expression of magic, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what's funny is, is that like I just took a point. I just took a level in Bard. So Una's got some new shit. <laughs> so I'm right so with... happy. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go with extra planar cryptozoology because in Avril's head, he thinks the snarls are alive now. And so now he's just like, well, I guess this, this might get me there. <laughs> we choose three of these? You can choose up to three. Up to three. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pile on the courses. I'll do... Is there a limit with the, uh, is there a limit with the extracurricular and the jobs? Uh, oh, yeah. That's a good question. Let me see. Because I want to stick with the art club, too. Hmm. I'm going to say that if, you, if you're if you maxed out at three, um, it's probably going to limit you to to one job or extracurricular. Um, two or less, I think you could probably manage manage all of it. Well, that works for me. I got the job at the inn. I have the guild, and then I would have a class. So my extracurricular will be the Dragon's Guard Historical Society. And then I'm going to pick three classes. I will do advanced applied magic, arcane macroeconomics, and extra planar cryptozoology. And give me just a second. Okay. Um, do we know what these courses do for us, or is that meta? Um, 
basically what these do um, are going to give you uh, like in situations where I'm, I'm writing these down. So in a situations where this kind of stuff could um, come up in play later on, uh, you might have like advantage on the roll or something because it's something you've learned about. Oh, okay. right. Um, so Una, you said the elder. Okay, so that's that one. Uh, runner. Okay, you said extra planar cryptozoology. Yeah, advanced applied magic, arcane macroeconomics, and extra planar cryptozoology. And macro Okay. So three classes and an extracurricular. Keeping myself busy. Okay, what's that extracurricular? The extracurricular is the Dragon's Guard Historical Society. Okay. Um, and we're knee checking. Uh, so, Blackwell, what, what were you wanting to take? Um, so, um, so I'm thinking I'm going to take Advanced Applied Magic and Advanced Lumomancy. Those seem like uh, they be the best option to for what I'm trying to do. Okay. And any extracurriculars? Oh yeah. I said, oh yeah, I said I was joining the um uh the magic labs. Uh the magic labs. Um and um and the mages of faith. Mages of faith. Okay. Uh, so knee check was there any other Things that you learned to take? I just put mine in the chat. The Applied Illusion, Illusory Arts, Eldric and Arcane Performances, Extra Planar Cryptozoology, and then stick with my Distinguished Art Society, uh, no job. Okay. And uh, Una, was there anything else you were wanting to take? Um, let's see. I did Elrich Arcane performances. I got a job at the tavern and I'm doing the guild. Um, you know, I'm going to also do applied illusion, uh, illusionary arts as well. Applied illusionary arts. Okay. Yeah. That gives me, yeah, that should be and, more than enough. And you said, you're, year, sticking, yeah. said you're sticking with the performance, uh, yeah. performance guild. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Una's got to get her revenge somehow. Plus, she's got to flirt with Quint Quintolus a little. For sure. Like, and, wait, uh, she knows like she's in with him somehow. <laughs> and uh, Avril, was there anything else you wanted to take? Um. Oh, you mean uh, extra class? Yeah, classes or extracurriculars. Uh, no extracurriculars. I'm gonna work at. The intramural field. Um, can I take two jobs? Well, don't think so, but I will check for you. All right. If I can, then I was also going to work just at the stadium itself because that's just, it's basically the same job, just one I'm a ref and the other one I'm like, take a job. Uh, and then, but if not, I'm not worried about that because I'll just spend that time studying the snarl. And then the class is going to be the zoology thing. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, you can only have one job at a time. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'll do the intramural field. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, intramural fields job. Okay. Um, uh, and then the extra planar zoology for my okay. extra class. And then all my free time is spent working on. Okay. Fancy meeting you guys here. <laughs> right? <laughs> All three of us took uh, extra planar cryptozoology? That seems that's a little weird. I mean, well, it was the only Witherbloom think... class available. And oh, you took this I'm because sure you didn't have to walk far from the dorm? Witherbloom through and through, buddy. Through and through. <laughs> this one, because you could wear pajama pants to class. <laughs> Actually, I wear these metal pants. 
freaking heavy like metal comfortable? Pants. You have to sleep in that. I mean, it's not bad. It took some getting used to. I cannot have a water bed anymore. <laughs> you that test that one out? Out the window. <laughs> well, I, st I stayed a night at my friend's house uh, over spring break last Oh, and, did you? Uh, uh, well, I mean, yeah. You didn't, you didn't get any details on this. Well, I mean, it was, it was, it was just like a, just, just a little, little thing with the art club. It was, it was, it was nothing. It's nothing, huh? I, I mean, well, it, well, after you lay down on the bed. Yeah, I, I had to go home early. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you, were, you were like, oh, I got all wet after laying in the bed, and then I had to go home. <laughs> this is in the water. <laughs> oh, no. Was there somebody there to do prestigitation for you? Uh, no, 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 there, there, there wasn't. I just, uh, I just stayed you, you outside always, for a while. You could have always ran to Una. She would more than likely help you with that. Well, you know, I, I appreciate do, that. Do those things have? Do those things have a zipper? Uh, if <laughs> I'm there's, still very confused how you do your business. If there's a zipper, I have not found it yet. Oh no! <laughs> oh get, no! <laughs> how does this? How does this work? I'm sure it's uh, very smelly. It just disappear? What? What does you it know? Go? Is what level is the armor? Is it level three? Level one right now. Level one. Um, did you want to see if you could get that one feet? Okay, so um, is the the year uh, closes down? It is time for your final um, exam. Oh goody! Uh, <laughs> uh, you guys have a day to study. What? How do you each spend your your time studying? You just gonna do the study group again, or are you gonna? Right yeah, now. that's what Ryder will suggest the study group if everybody else is up for it. Una is totally 100% fine with the study group because she knows that it's worked in the past. 50 <laughs> 50. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Avril has decided study groups are worthwhile. Okay. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm actually going to, uh, to study this time. Yeah. Okay. Oh, um, I actually have a quick question because I may have missed it due to the fact that. Zard just came in here and distracted me. Um, is there a rate of currency that we're getting for working our jobs? Yes, it's a uh, five gold at the start of each week that you hold the job. Okay. Um. <clears throat> oh, um, and at the end of this time, do I have to do any rolls and such for making these gloves? Uh, nope. As long as you spend the time and gold to do it, you are good to go. So, so, do I add that into my inventory now as we get to the end of all that? Um, oh, I just realized I do have, if my total, oh, wait, never mind, it's count platinum. Oh, after oh. the end of this exam, I will, oh, yeah, you can go ahead and put that into your inventory. Cool, cool. I'll just start taking because I would have been spending the whole time anyways. All right, so you guys uh, study up with the, the study group. Um. I need you each to make a arcana check for me, please. All right. You can make arcana or history, actually, if, if you so choose to take history instead. <laughs> also, is, uh, is this as, first? As... Go ahead. Uh, as per usual, Una will summon one for a uh, bag of tricks animals out to just sit with her. This is for just studying. Each okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, today, know. Una has a giant rat with her. Oh, that was a misclick, that, uh, <laughs> that investigation. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, Una's got a giant rat running around on the table. Okay. That's probably that why I only got a four. <laughs> <laughs> it just will not stay out of the bird's face for some reason. <laughs> Leave him I'm, alone. I, I want to eat it. <laughs> Una's like, like the second oh, that so she good. sees that you want to eat it, she's going to be like, go ahead and try. <laughs> I want to see this. 
He just fucking splats it on the table and then just eat, <laughs> tries to eat it. It just it disappears like shit. Turns what back is... into a tiny ball. Yeah. <laughs> and she'll she'll roll a. <laughs> Ooh! Weasel! Uh, uh, that's something else is trying to eat. <laughs> Very oh, this, uh, Yeah, U Udo will let the weasel actually just sit on her shoulder blades. You're not eating this one. You couldn't eat the last one. I don't think you're going to eat this one either. <laughs> I was just going to catch it this time and then just try to eat it while it was still whole. Maybe that before. Mm, no, it's not going to work. But you can certainly try <laughs> to let it run at him again. <laughs> and just grab it and then drop it in. So, <laughs> Blackwell, Runner, and Una, you guys will get one reroll on this exam. Sweet. Um, I got a red again. <laughs> okay. So, um,. You guys spend the, the day studying. Uh, you guys make it to the next diet. Make make it to the next day, and it's time to start your uh, ar advanced arcane history exam for an ar arcana. Uh, this time, Dean Tullis is in fact um, administering the test. As soon as Una sees Dean Tullis come in to do the exam, she's gonna be like, "Yes, Dean Tullis is doing the exam!" Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Trying to cover up the entire fact that she changed her test answers and then changed them back. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and roll a deception check for me. <laughs> Avril's kind of just like, shit. Third <laughs> <laughs> sheet? <laughs> says, okay, now, now, students, we really must get down to business. No talking, please. Oh, you're no fun. <laughs> so, I have a question. Sure. Can I cheat on just the essay? <laughs> yes, I'll allow that. Cool. <laughs> okay. Una um, has left her bag of tricks back at her dorm. She does not have them on her. Okay. So, um, is anyone else planning to cheat during the exam? Um, I'm totally down with doing the thing I did last time. The thing where I go look at the answers. <laughs> so, changing your answers afterward if you fail? No, no. no. I mean, the very, very beginning thing where I uh, go ethereal, look at it, and then come back. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's like trying to remember it before we start the test. Okay. Um. Oh. Um. Can I can I do something that's actually before we go in for the test, like ten minutes before? What is it you like to do? <laughs> I would like to bardic inspiration, uh, members of the group. Yeah, I'll allow that. Yay! Um, I can do four uh, for a long rest, so I will uh, give one to each of you. You all get an awesome. extra. You guys get a d6 for ten minutes. Okay. Right. Yeah, Avril's in there pumped. He's like, "All right, let's get this test over with." She's like, "Let's go, let's go, come on, everybody, sit U down." Let's, Una let's did go. a like a sing songy <laughs> fire dance kind of thing. Okay, we pumped now. <laughs> on our way to her chair. <laughs> yep. Finger okay. guns, but the fire actually comes out the ends a little bit. Oh yeah, I have I have Bernie Hansen produce flame, so <laughs> I can do shit. So, um, don't forget about your student dice, to everybody too, that we've learned yeah. from the other tests. Sure. Yeah. 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 Okay, so Blackwell, I'm gonna have you go ahead and make a stealth check. For me. Oof. Um, um, that, is that in, or, in out? or out of the uh, ethereal realm? Um, that's going to be 
getting into the basically disappearing without anyone noticing you disappearing. Uh, okay. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking too. He's just like walking around, and also just disappears. Or you're sitting at your desk and then just disappears. Ah. He's like black. Oh, oh, oh. No <laughs> I know you're doing the thing again. Get back to your seat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. The Dean's passive is 15, so... Oh, oh, oh busted. <laughs> that's that's the disadvantage. <laughs> so you hear Dean tell us, she's kind of like reading her paper. She's like, Blackwell, I will not have you doing the cheating in my exam. <laughs> Please get back to your seat. <laughs> just just you and you're like right next to her and be like <laughs> just yeah. head down walk back to your seat <laughs> I was gonna yeah. say you could have used your parting inspiration on that um okay totally. so yeah totally I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna need I'm probably gonna need it for the test you lord are lord knows I'm gonna <laughs> lord knows I'm gonna fucking Bump those fucking rolls. You know, when it really matters, that's when the dice are like, ah, screw you. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, uh, you make it back to your seat, Blackwell. Um, so the test uh, starts off with the first part. Um, it is Lost Magic Relics, and it's about identifying famous missing magical relics. And I need you. Guys, to either make me an arcana or history check for this one. Mm. Uh, I'm trying to remember what where we put. Dice do we have available? Oh, I'm I'm looking for. Uh, it. Okay. Um, it'd be under party notes for separate dice if that's what you're looking for. I'm gonna use one of my history yeah. dice. I got two of them. Okay, I'm definitely going to use some of my history dice as well there. Oh, cool. And the, uh, I'll go ahead and use the D6. I you said it was uh, uh, history or arcana? Yes. I will also use one of my uh, dice for my arcana. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's better. Very nice. <laughs> I fucking told you. I fucking told you. <laughs> All right, so... <laughs> Fine. Okay. Oh wait, the student dice are four, right? I used my yeah, inspiration. Damn it, I rolled the wrong one. one. My student die, and I got a seventy. Ah, uh, got a sixteen. My student die made mine actually a 13. I rolled the wrong die earlier. That was a wasted six! Because I don't have my own bar inspiration. I can only do you guys. Can you edit mine too? Don't worry about it. Okay, so I have a 27 for knee check. 23 yes. for runner. Yep. A 16 for Blackwell. Um, for Una, that is a... Ignore that six. Okay. Yeah, it's a 13. 13. Yeah. Okay. And for uh, Avril, you said you got a 17? Yeah. Okay. So. Means. After Blackwell got caught cheating, I'm I'm not cheating on the on, on the essay either. Okay, <laughs> probably a wise choice. Um, okay, um, the second portion of the ch the test is a short essay theorizing what magic items scholars have yet to discover and requires a charisma persuasion check. Oh, yeah. that is oh, yeah. I have no. <laughs> is this the is this the last part of the test? 
this is the final part of the test and those of you guys that um, succeeded the DC for the study phase have a reroll just so you know if Yay. I, can I just roll with advantage get advantage on the roll Woo! Dirty 20. Uh, it's unfortunately it's a re-roll, so okay, so take it'll make you take the second one. Okay. Yes. So persuasion. I am using my Kenku recall though. Fuck. Uh, I I, <laughs> I want to re-roll, but I don't want to re-roll. You know? Yeah, yeah. I'm the same fucking like, code. I got a I got a negative one. Like, how much better can it really get? can yeah yeah it's like it's like do i hit on this i can obviously get better but there's a lot of cards that will bust me <laughs> can i use more than one charge on a primer i believe you can in this instance let me see here if that's the case i'm burning all three <laughs> yeah did you, already, did you already use your bardic yeah, I, yeah, I got a four. I'm, I, I haven't failed an exam yet. I'm top of the class right now, I'm trying to stay that way. Well, right now you're sporting a what twenty one. It didn't save this. Day. Yeah, I, I don't see why you couldn't blow them all. Yeah, we're doing it. How confident am I, am I in my sixteen? You could roll a D100. I only got to answer that question, Gunner. Uh, I have a damn. plus five. And I, still, I had a plus five with advantage, and I still want Can I give myself... Um, guidance on this roll? Yeah. Awesome. awesome. I should have tried to seduce uh motherfucker <laughs> seventeen. <laughs> I keep getting ones on guidance. I've rolled, I've rolled so many ones this game. Okay, so we're sticking with these scores here. Yeah. Yep. Can't can't, can't risk getting lower than that. Yeah, I'm gonna get lower than that if I roll again. I know I am. I got a negative one, so I'm lucky I got the sixteen. I rolled a 17. What's the odds of getting a higher than a 17 roll? Yeah. Like 15%. Well. Yeah. I'll stick with it. So I have a 27 for knee check. Um, God damn it. 17 for block ball, <laughs> 16 for runner. For knee check. Uh, Una, that, what did you have, Una? Uh, oh. I had a dirty 20. Okay. Uh, and... I felt confident in that 20, so I, I don't... I don't Ab think Una's gonna ruin that. <laughs> Avril, what did you have? Also a 17, baby. 17. Okay. Tracks, Tracks that we all studied together. Yeah. Yeah. With Una's distraction oh, well, of animals. We studied together. <laughs> Nietzsche got a fucking <laughs> heads up because he got to see what where the test was going to be. What? I saw you looking at <laughs> he's still, he told his desk. He's still rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so as you guys get your exams back um, from Dean Tallis, her assistants start to pass them out. Um, Nietzsche Aced it once again. Yes. Um, runner, runner and Una, uh, you guys both get a C plus. Um, Whoop. Runner, you pass the first part of the exam. Uh, Una, you pass the second part of the exam. Tracks, tracks. <laughs> um, Blackwell and Avril. I failed the shit out of this exam. Guys both yeah. bombed the test. <laughs> really? Yes, really was so, baby. <laughs> I gave you all bardic inspiration. <laughs> yeah, I, I used it. I know. <laughs> I used all my resources on the first test and still only got 14. 
16 and 17 still fucking bomb both tests. I mean, it's a prestigious uh, place. I mean, you should spend less hey, look, time preaching on the quad fully, and more time studying. I fully expect it from myself. I don't even know how to use magic. <laughs> I mean, you still haven't really explained what the Blind Eternities is, but I do hear you out there hollering. <laughs> okay, so unfortunately, um, if you fail... Um, you are um, required to attend tutoring and uh, you are barred from extracurriculars and jobs until you've achieved a passing, passing score on an exam. I'm going to take, take my job, job too. It'll take, take my money. money. Just take, take that. They're going to take your job. job. <laughs> <laughs> I paid for my materials for my gloves, right? Back to the pile. It is, yes. Okay, cool. All right, that's fine. I'll do your studying, your stupid test. <laughs> okay. So you guys have completed year three of Strict Save. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, flexing on them. Hey, am I am I top of the class? You made it. Uh, you're nailing them so far. I don't think you've not aced a single test. Yeah, Look, bro, you're wearing corrupted armor. Man. You're not the top of any class. Okay. I like, mean, I'm, your failure is is skin deep. I am putting off big top energy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so gonna, like started off just bombing. Um. Okay. Oh, so we, dice we are not my favorite. We we need to find I, I again, another leafy for Nietzsche. We never looked into that. I don't know if it goes with this motif now. I rolled, I rolled yeah. four fucking ones in a row. This <laughs> tonight has been ridiculous. Maybe we get a weekend <laughs> cast on like some poison ivy or something. <laughs> Blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, at the end of the third year, um, you guys get a few months of time off before you start your fourth year of Strixhaven. Um, once you're back, uh, everybody's kind of gathered up at the Bow's End Tavern for a little uh, get get together uh, before the year uh, officially gets underway. So, um, as you guys have just barely donned the new academic year, um the Quintilis comes up to you, Una. Um Oh I and he shouts of uh He he runs through the group of of students in the, the tavern and shouting and waving a flyer, um pausing to catch his breath once he gets to you. Uh, he grins and stuffs the flyer in your hand. Oh, what is this? Hmm? <laughs> Una, dear, it's happening. The Mage Tower game. <gasps> Yay! It says, uh, the professors have invited the student body to the field uh, to field two Mage Tower teams for a game at the end of the year. And it's it's a battle for Strixhaven. And the winners and their supporters get bragging rights for life. Um, all of us at the Play Actors Guild voted voted for you and think you and your friends would make the best team. You'd win for sure. Uh, I look at the group. You guys in on this? Because this is going to be fucking awesome. <laughs> well, we get to play those jocks that, uh, that uh, made fun of Nietzsche in the bar? Oh, yes. Would we Wait, be playing what are we that? Playing? Mage Sorry, game. I was reading. I have no <laughs> idea what it is, but I'm sure it'll be amazing. It's the mage something, game. Something with a ball? I've never played with a ball before. Like the ball that we went to with the, the mask? No, 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 yes. no, 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 uh, no. Un Unfortunately, me and Avril are barred from extracurriculars. All right. So this well, actually isn't an happen. extracurricular. Um, nice. This is required. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not required either, but... um. Oh, and it's like, oh, it's required. 
if, yeah. you need my, if you need my assistance, I'll I'll help as much as I can. I mean, we're I... gonna need all the help we can get. We're the badasses in this school. I guess I'll help. Nichak, well, why, kind of why are you credit? reluctant? What? Uh, I mean, sure, whatever, dude. He's 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 getting to that teenager age. <laughs> Is puberty hitting you harder than last night? Uh, hey, no, no. <clears throat> <clears throat> no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> he's got the little hairs on his chinny chin chin. It's not even my yeah, real that's... chin. I was starting to get pretty long there. <laughs> Shut, Shut up, up Bud Munch. Uh, <laughs> I can almost see it. But uh, Una will hug Quintalis and be like, "Thank you for uh, having the guilt pick me." I mean, shit! This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> says, well, does this count as a? Uh, does this count as extra, um, credit? Um, it's it's for bragging rights, so it, it doesn't really have. Um, it, it's pretty much just like a huge honor to, to compete, in in a um, mage tower. Uh, because, it's it's like the the game that represents Strixhaven, so like. You're basically, if you win, you get bragging rights to be the the champion of Strixhaven, essentially. So, think of it this way: if we win and we do really good and we get these bragging rights, you could get your extracurriculars back and your jobs. Since some of you failed, I, I don't think it works so like that. Have- Look, I was able to get back into that guild. After that thing we helped with, you know, during the ball. We stopped an evil entity from destroying the school. You guys just got to ask quite I, I, I don't feel like that's the same thing. Just, like, be better well, or something. Look, it's... Okay. Champions Sounds like a skill issue. <laughs> or just secret heroes. Because, look, we did something awesome by stopping that evil, but... Oh, we were supposed to get that on the down low. Quintellus, you know nothing. Um, and <laughs> Una will oh. try to convince the group that this is something we should do. <laughs> I thought it group. Group. That's not the issue. I just <laughs> don't think that, like, getting... We're, I don't think we're getting anything extra from it. Especially not something that we're required to do in order to pass the school. They're not just going to give her that away for playing a game but if we are champions of Strixhaven, that's got to be for something besides bragging rights. I will. I will be right back. <laughs> okay. Um. So, Quintilus would ex- explain that this is a uh, Mage Tower is one of Strixhaven's most common student games. Uh, the, the Battle of Strixhaven is an intramural ch- championship held every three years in Strixhaven Stadium. Uh, for bragging rights among the student body. Uh, basically, he'd explain that each team has an equal number of students, you, uh, not exceeding five. Um, each team is represented by a small uh, mascot creature that reflects one of Strixhaven's colleges. Um, uh, so, yeah, that's pretty, pretty much what Str- uh, Mage Tower is. Um, he would also tell you that the opposing team, he he, he may know, uh, heard rumors of who's going to be on that team. Who, who's on that I'll, team? Uh, as I'm kind of reading the, the thing to myself, the little flyer, I will mention out loud. Uh, it says to register as a team, we see Professor Mavinda Sharpbeak at the Biblioplex. Here we go. The winning team will receive a suitable reward. Ooh. I like stuff. We all you couldn't this. have a you couldn't have a job because of your test grades. Maybe this will be a way to kind of make up for some of that income that's lost. Well, yeah. so, sounds kind of sketchy. Suitable reward. Wouldn't it make sense just to put it on there? This is an institute. Maybe it's extra books or information or special access to something. I mean, you'll never know. We can always ask her or them. So, you know, uh, just grab the nearest kid. Huh. <laughs> so Quintilis. What's, what's, 
I would tell you guys that uh, Xanther Bowen, the one that was giving you guys trouble at the Bozen Tavern uh, when you first came in, he's going to be the uh, team captain for the opposing team. Said no more. I'm in. And <laughs> another person on that team is, in fact, Mina Lee. Oh, and like, <laughs> is this the full biggest grin oh. ever on uh, Una's face. Like, oh, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna look at Una and Avril and be like, I don't know who, the, who you're talking about. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, what is this about? Uh, uh, that one? Una, Una will point out who, uh, who, who each of them are to the group. I'm giggling too much to explain. <laughs> So Mina Lee was the one that uh, stole my dress. Yeah, stole stole in his dress. Uh, Ooh. Xanther Bowen was the guy that was uh, giving Avril a hard time uh, at the boat in the hard time. Yeah, and then he started giving me check some some rough drinks. <laughs> oh, I thought that was friendly. Oh, so this is like a <laughs> kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah for for a few of you, it's like. It's like, how dare you bully us? Um, yeah. Yeah. And, but I can't... Mina, Mina has yet to apologize, and I've been wanting to fuck her up somehow. This is the the way to do it. Is this a full context book? Um, Quintilis would say that um, uh, anything that could cause damage to a participant, mascot, or spectator would or damage the field of play in any way is prohibited. Breaking this rule results in expulsion from the game. Oh. Questionable use what of What if you put somebody off. what if you put somebody in a bag of holding? <laughs> <laughs> so he, he says a questionable use of magic can be called as a foul by a game by the game's referee. A well, good thing I <laughs> I got the night hand. <laughs> yeah. You just tell you a faculty member fulfills the role of referee during the game. Um, All right, guys, here's the plan. Give me the ball. I I turn a furial and run it and go. (laughs) That would work. Or, you know, uh, I can also, like, when you go ethereal, I can lift you up with my mage hand and run you across the field, too. Your mage hand (laughs) is not ethereal. No, but it can move you. You know, in case they find a way to, you know, uncloak you. Ethereal means like a ghost in another plane of existence. Not oh, just that's right, invisible. yeah. <laughs> that's how Una describes invisible. <laughs> that's when you go ethereal. Well, isn't that what happens when you go invisible anyway? So, uh, <laughs> what, what, what are the votes looking like for, for Mage Tower? <laughs> Uh, I guess uh, we're doing this because yep. <laughs> I mean, I think everybody said they were in. Yeah. I mean, I never said I was in, but I never said I was out. Okay. Look, you're saying you're in now. Look, the captain of the other team picked on Nichek, and nobody fucks with Nichek. So I can't punch them. No, sadly you can't. Can I we drafted? We drafted. At this point, you should know about your magic, right? Yeah. Okay. I know how to use it now, but uh, Ooh. I could vicious mockery some different. shit out of them. <laughs> so I create water. <laughs> so as you guys uh go over to Mavinda's Sharp Beak to rev- oh. register for the event. I could do something. Um Uh, you, you guys find her at the Biblioplex near the Hall of Oracles, uh, where she's helping direct new first-year students to vital places on campus. Um, she, uh, she said, oh, hello, students. Uh, were you all interested in Mage Tower? I heard you guys would make a great team. We were nominated by the performance guild, so yes, of course. Yeah, I guess. Can we do slight rule change? <laughs> Fortunately, the, is... the rules are put in place for a very good reason. 
I do sure. have one question about the rules that we haven't addressed yet. Um, what about summons? They, they are. aren't innately um, destructive or, uh, you know, um, what are you saying? Like yeah, weird uses or something? Then it's not weird. Yeah. Yeah, so... Have uh, me check, be our goalie, just like, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm going to say right now, my bag of tricks is going to be our mascots. Ooh, speaking of... Oh, knee uh, check. You, you should uh, draw your cards, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah <laughs> can, I get a, can I get a shuffle from you, Mob? Yeah. Do you want me to... Yeah, I'll just go ahead and pull that card that you have in there. Oh, yeah. Sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> All right, should be good to go. Um, so as long as so so basically, if you don't cause damage to a participant, mascot, spectator, or damage the field, uh, you're not expelled from the game, and anything questionable uh, can be potentially called as a foul. And once you accumulate three fouls, you are ejected from the game. So, it depends on how you use it. Are you allowed to use sleep spells? I wouldn't find that outside of the rules. Okay, so it's double good. checking because sometimes they fall on their faces while running. So, wanted to be one hundred percent sure that wouldn't count as a foul. Yeah, I mean that—that's kind of their own fault, I suppose. If they're they're not paying attention to where their face is pointing. <laughs> I'm going to be so tripping people. And that's what silvery barbs is for. Gosh. You didn't, you didn't study? I have the silvery barbs. Well, I mean, then... Pfft, whatever. <laughs> I really <laughs> need to work on your sarcasm, Nichak. That's, uh, I mean... Yeah, okay. Okay. Sorry. How old, How is, old is Una now? She's 26. Or no, 23. She's 23. Oh, okay. Okay. So Una's uh, in that young adult rebellious phase. Oh. I'm an adult now. I can do what I want. Yes, she is. <laughs> so, Very uh, much so. <laughs> Very much now. <laughs> So Mavinda hands you guys some papers and she says, okay, well, if we're all in, I just need you to sign this waiver here, sign your name here, initial here, but not there, here, and one more signature here. And please note that there is a um, permanent combination on your student record if you were to win and a monetary prize of half your tuition this academic year waived, effectively giving each of you 400 gold if your team oh. wins. Well, so, hell yes. I guess I will not post. <laughs> hey, Nietzsche, you're actually going to have some money if we win. I'm still close enough that time where I beat you in the fashion show, actually. I only lost that because someone fucking stole my dress. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, that's really unfortunate. It's, it's... <laughs> Go harder. Seed. <laughs> <laughs> Una's just like pouty angry face like she's going to fucking <laughs> Sounds like a skill issue <laughs> Sounds yeah. like a skill issue I asked Quintolas to make the dress okay that was mistake number one number two I should have stayed with him while he worked on it that made Shh. Nina Lee leave the fucking room her and her bitches <laughs> so uh, D, uh Professor Sharpbeak starts to like stack her papers up. Uh, she says, now, students, I've heard of your uh, recent endeavors, and I need to ask for a favor. Oh? Um, she says, this, this Mage Tower game is my event to organize, but everything has already gone wrong. You see, I need to tag all the college mascots on campus, those little magical creatures that roam the grounds, we use them as mascots for our Mage Tower games, and if the deans find out that some of the mascots aren't cataloged, my reputation will be ruined. <laughs> uh, before 
classic began, I corralled the mascots into uh, an island in Sedgemoor, but before I finished cataloging them, half a dozen escaped and vanished, and this morning I heard students chattering about the mascots causing a commotion in the outer grounds of Wilt Root Hall. Uh, so this is a subdue and return situation? Um, she said, well, if, if you can help me out, perhaps there's something I can give you to help you in the game. As long as... Oh, I, I am in. Talking details. There is... Are we grabbing them? Or are we just punching them till they go to sleep? Or are we putting a tag on yeah, them? How, how do we collect them? Fuck? What are we um, doing with them? She rifles through her bag and pulls out a cheesecloth sack filled with small woven bands and each embroidered with a number. She continues. Uh, she says, each of, each of them must be tagged with these bands, but I can't do it myself. With the start of classes, I'm buried under work. I've seen how you handle yourselves uh, since your orientation did not go so well and i'm impressed with the skills uh could you just head over to wilt hall on the Wedderbloom campus and discreetly slip these bands onto every mascot you find i'd be very grateful and i'd owe you a favor what do you say so... you'll get to catch stuff which is fun and you get to punch something you know punch it into the bag we're, we're not just gonna have blackwell like go to another somewhere else and just like just stick them on them clip them back <laughs> seems seems like we're wasting wasting a lot of energy here for an advantage so, uh, it's in a way the to sharpen our skills yeah oh good uh, okay, yeah, ask okay. Ah, well, it would be fun give me the bag he just grabs the bag and starts walking <laughs> off us we can get paid not all of us want to Fashion show. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, uh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Sure. Okay. Hey, don't dig britches. You remember on the first day when I paid for your uniform, buddy? Come on, yo me. Let's go find some creatures. She says. Uh, she says before you go, I do need a team name and a mascot. Of. Of what? A team name Wait, and. Didn't... Okay. Didn't we choose a mascot or something? Our mascot, I think, was Leafy. Really? Um, no, you said you said you said your um your uh, oh yeah bag my of my animal. Gonna be the mascot. Yeah. Um. The thing is, is that the um, I I have my bag of tricks, but the thing is, every time I summon one, it might be a different animal. So. Maybe we could pick something different. Um, oh, um, the ghost fire thing had something to do with a dragon. Do you want to? You want to choose a dragon? Dragons are the thing with the school too, right? I like they that. started all the different schools. I will let you guys know that you guys will have to be carrying this mascot potentially. So, oh, <laughs> you have to try I mean, to. Still yeah. It's got to be a cool looking one kind of carrying it, or like we're carrying the physical creature that is this mascot. I'm going to cast um, Alter Self. You guys are discussing this. I mean, I think the, the dragon's a great fit. What do you think? Hmm. We get a little dragon. I look like that now. A little one? <laughs> You'll know. What about if we make it leafy, but, you know, we find a way to make another leafy. Rip. Let me check. <laughs> it's also got to represent one of the, the Strixhaven colleges. Ah. So the blob, um, the Quandrix animal. Um, I like so the typical... It's like a rock thing. The typical ones are... Um, Fractals, uh, ink blobs, Some pests. Um, let me see. 
Uh, what I get for eating on stream? Let me see if I can just share this with you guys. I really like the inkling. Really cool. Hey, hey, I got a bag of holding. Wait. Nice. How long do you get to keep it for? Pulled it out of yourself. Just, just, just for the day. Oh. Uh. If we were across another cursed item, stuff, though. oh yeah. If we're, if we're across another cursed item, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> well, do we, we're getting animals, right? Oh my God. Yeah, she she gave us uh, I think rings to. Excuse me, my cat Something is calling. Uh, I think I found the I think I found the mascots. I'm gonna post them. Uh, I mean, yeah. the lore hold one is freaking amazing. So maybe we should just use that one, because you know, lore hold is the best. Do school. so. So do, are we, do gonna, are we going to get to actually yeah, use these mascots? Uh, yes. Yeah, so you guys will be basically. Um, so it says, uh, when the game begins, two mascots are placed on high towers at opposite ends of the field of play. Each team tries to steal the opposing mascot and transport it back to the tower at their end of the field. Doing so scores a point. Um, yeah, the game occurs in three phases of 20 minutes each. And the team that scores the most points by the end of the third phase wins the games. I will say that the Witherbloom one looks like it would be the worst one to try and carry like a full... The the fractal mascot <laughs> can make itself larger and harder to carry. It's got it's called bonus action augment. Fractal size increases by one category. Can go no larger than huge. I Wait, just so like the art elemental that, mascot because it looks awesome. <laughs> Huh. It's actually quite the decision. I know. What's the uh, benefits for the past? So this handout I shared with you guys should have a link to each one. Yeah. That's my vote. <laughs> Tiny, but she packed the punch. Not, Not three, three of them so far. I don't see the page for the um the one from Kisty's Guild. The Prismari. The art, the art elemental mascot. It looks like a flaming deer with rocks around it. I mean, the the biggest one is definitely the spirit statue. I think that's all of them. Yeah, sure, I'm in the Discord here. Could you guys not click on the thing that Muff just posted? I was able to open them all in uh, oh, really? their own tabs. Yeah, yeah, same. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, he um, posted those after I posted all the pictures. Yeah. Uh, they'll, she'll also need a team name from you guys, too. Team the Green Turkey Ramrods. That is the stupidest name I've ever heard. So, so the rules are they gotta pick up. <laughs> they have to pick up our mascot and carry it down to their side. That's the idea. Uh, yes. Well, I'll okay. post the rules in, in here actually. So, which mascot is going to be the most difficult for them to handle? Honestly, I think it would be the Inkling because it can squeeze itself into narrow spaces that are one inch wide without, you know, squishing. We've got the highest. So, so it just get out of their hands. Yeah. I don't, or it, or it we... can slither between something and hide in it. But yeah, I guess that's going to depend on what the terrain is like. 
Turn if it's around. a wide open area, then it's and mechanically we can't use it to squeeze through hands. Then maybe superfluous. Can anybody cast darkness? Um, not yet. No. It'll be on my list someday. <laughs> I thought I took blind, but I didn't. Cast blind is in deafness, but it doesn't have a very high DC. Mm -mm. I was just saying that the inkling hides in the dark. I can turn, I can turn the inkling invisible. Mm -hmm. Just tell it to go hide. Would that be considered cheating, Myth uh, Beak? What was that? I'm sorry. Turning the mascot into the bowl. <laughs> I mean, it would be down to the referee, but I don't suppose it would, technically. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we're level, we're uh, fourth year mages. You don't have anything that can track uh, things made out of magic. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I'm gonna I... ignore uh, detect magic. I can disguise I... myself because I, I can use detect like magic. That was the needed for me. <laughs> I can move things. I can heal people now. I can make sure that we all don't fall to our dooms. Learned that lesson the hard way. Um, I think I think we need bless, especially give it to the mascot. I do have charm person and friends. Oh, so I I have a question for you there. Mom, mm -hmm. sure. So, with my aberrant dragon mark that I took, mm -hmm. I picked up Gust, just the cantrip. Okay, it's a 30 foot range, but it can push something up to 90 feet. So, if, okay. I, th if I throw a card, could I use Gust and push the card an additional 60 feet? Yeah, that's clever use, I would say. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> Sounds pretty dope to me. We'll see why not. <laughs> I mean, I'll be really good at grabbing whatever they're, they got over there and running back with it while not letting them get it away from me. That's all I got. I also have Mage Hand, and uh, I can charm one of them, probably. I mean, Mage Hand can only pick up 10 pounds. That's right, so if they pick a really big one. Do they get to choose the same one we do? Uh, potentially, yes. All right. Oh, there's the rolls. Okay. I need to give these a read. I'm going to read them out loud. Actually, I want to find out which the, one they are using. The stream. Uh, <laughs> and we asked the person if they know which mascot the other person's using. Uh, you're asking Professor Chartbeak? Yeah. yeah. Oh, dear, sir. I, can, I cannot give that information out, unfortunately. Well, I, I figured that'd I, be... Uh, look, look. Quintals is already giving me hints of somebody uh, you know, that's on the other team, possibly, so uh, don't worry, I got that. What if we say please? <laughs> and you very kind of I mean, I didn't think it was a secret. I mean, that's just a ball, right? Pretty much. Uh, well, it could use, be used to adjudicate strategies beforehand. And we can't have that. No you know more. what? That, that worm's got a bunch of spikes on it. That's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, this, uh, the fractal Please mascot the fractal. explodes. Or sorry, not the fractal one. Uh, which one was it? We use the fractal one, then we 
you let make it use its ability to make it bigger, and then someone casts enlarge on it. That would just make it large. Which makes it a whole lot harder to carry across the field. Well, the fractal can actually turn itself... Smaller. Well, it can mm-hmm. turn itself bigger, too. The inkling can make itself extremely small. If we have someone that has, like, reducer and large, we could take a tiny one and make it very, very, very small. Or we could take one of the biggest ones... And make it very, very, And very make big. it very, very big, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. If we have someone with a large and reduced, and we mix it with the fractal's ability to make itself bigger, and then we make it even bigger. I don't that's know. Even allowed? You know, get smaller, and then the English even smaller. You know, it's, it's just too, that's too strapped. I was thinking of. Or we make the spiky thing really big. <laughs> or we just kill everybody that plays and snot on our team. I'm in. Oh, we aren't. I can, I'm down for that. I, I'm up for knocking them out unconscious and humiliating. Fuck yeah, we're gonna kill them dead. Let's steal their pants. Ooh, steal steal their, their pants. pants. Wait, wait, wait. What? Why are we gonna steal their pants? I don't know. No. Oh, we're <laughs> humiliating them. Look, there are a zillion ways you can humiliate someone without stealing their undie pants, okay? You couldn't steal their undie pants. Just, pants. You couldn't steal my pants if you wanted Look. to. <laughs> actually, actually. You know, Nichek, you got the point on that question. one. Do you wear clothes on top of the armor, or is it just the armor now? I I, I wear my uh, my wither bloom sure. clothes over the the armor. It says that I can fit. I can wear clothes over it. So you wear the robes over it. Yeah, and I have I have that. Uh, that Getting tote. a very hard like a full brother, a full metal alchemist vibe here with the brother. Yeah, kind of. Okay, did we decide on a team name or a mascot? Or both? Um, I think we've been arguing over the mascot, <laughs> but I, we, I don't think any of us have come up with a team name. Um, we do not have a large reduce, so I don't know if that changes the equation. I do not, at least. I don't. What about the Rip Leafs? <laughs> Bear, Gorilla, Lion, Tamer. <laughs> the Weasels. The blue team. The blue team. <laughs> the outcasts. The vicious mockeries. Daddy Dom, Darth and Randy. <laughs> that word is the world is just a bunch of random words that don't make any sense. <laughs> Name our group winners. top of the class. I kind of like that. Is it the winners? <laughs> I like top of the class. Let's do top of the class. <laughs> So that's three yeah, minutes. Why, why are you always doing the vengeance thing? What did you like become Batman? Just, I'm just really mad sometimes. Okay. <laughs> Somebody shoot your parents in an alley. Do you have a dream about <laughs> pearls falling on the fucking pavement? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> or are you, you know, I don't even know who my parents <laughs> are. Okay. Oh, oh no. Nietzsche, I'm sorry. Well, you got to make me feel bad. It's, it's fine, guys. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. It's fine. Like the spikes are cool. Okay. Yeah, so that's, that's three votes for top of the class that's gonna win for that that name. What uh yeah. mascot would you guys choose? Uh my vote's on the fractal mascot. I think the size changing might help. Okay. So one vote for fractal mascot. My vote's the worm. Okay. okay. <laughs> the pest mascot. Um I'm I'm going for the inkling. Oh God. boy. <laughs> oh ways, but... I look, look. I in Una's head, making something tiny as possible and very hard to find is probably the best way to go about it. And hiding it somehow in some traps would be amazing. It doesn't have to stay in one spot though. It's it's put on the tower. 
it's put on a tower according to the rules. So, um, okay. Uh, so we got one for fractal, one for the pest, uh, one for the inkling. inkling. So, uh, Blackwell and Avril, what's what's y'all's thoughts? <laughs> what's the biggest? God, God damn, damn it. it. <laughs> this is a statue, I think. Statue? Okay. Because oh, we're going to have to go wrestle it, right? In order to go get it? Uh, no, oh, you're going to be the, the opposite teams. No, oh, I'm just saying, we're, but we're going to have to go round up mascots like right now. It's like a job we're about to go do, right? Correct, yeah. He wants to wrestle that. Wait. Okay, there are five of us. We have to vote on something. Question: The things that we, the constructs that we fought, were those spirit statues? They were. Okay, so we fought the one of the mascots. You did. Several of them, actually. All right, that was the one. Drag around. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, Blackwell. (laughs) <laughs> you tiebreaker here, bud. What are you gonna oh, choose? I, 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 I just don't really know. I don't have access to all of them on the phone. Okay, so I, I sent them all, all, all to the uh, to. So okay, so everybody roll a D one hundred. Top one gets to pick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's All right, I'm down for that. I'm down. This is uh, this is the equivalent of our group peeling off and doing a drinking game, real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh that's damn it! Who is not happy with this? <laughs> uh, D100. Let's see here. How do I do? Like it. And he checks in the lead so far. <laughs> yeah, he made a deal with the devil. <laughs> I saw you at the crossroads midnight, boy. I got a 70 and a 1. I don't know if that is. The 71. 71. Not quite enough. (laughs) You hit 33. Nietzsche? That's good. Guess we're going with the pest. With a bloom for Uh. life, bro. All right. They have have the spiny hide. They do. They're tiny, too. Tiny. All right. right. Means it's more likelihood to get fucking spine. All right. So, uh, you guys have a team name picked out top of the class with the pest mascot as your your mascot. We are such Uh, oddballs. (laughs) (laughs) So, as you guys go on throughout the year, um, oh my god! I'm Sorry. sorry to interrupt. I'm yeah, um, yeah. reading the description on the um, pest mascot, and it sounds a lot like uh, like knee checked right now. He's like, it's literally me. Grumpy, <laughs> 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 spiky, and generally irritating. <laughs> Just because I live in the muggy bayou of Southermore doesn't mean I am a pest. <laughs> Ferret-sized swamp creature. <laughs> okay guys so we're gonna quickly blow through this uh your test this is gonna be skipping into the the middle of the year um you guys that did have jobs earned um a total of 160 gold son of a bitch, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah awesome um Sweet. so for the test uh, this is gonna be for uh, scrivening and symbology uh, the, about glyphs of wardens. Uh, Wait, I thought we had to retake our test. Uh, you guys have to get a passing score on on an exam to get back into jobs and stuff. So this is oh, okay. midway through the year. Midterms. Yeah, midterms. <laughs> so I guess it's just understood you took like summer course. That's why you can do other stuff and you passed. Yeah, but it, yeah. 
tutoring. Because that they wouldn't make us retake the other test. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's fine. I'm totally fine. I'm not failing. The uh, the summer professors are like way lighter on you. It's basically <laughs> yeah. <like> <laughs> yeah. Basically, okay, just so show up and it's fine. <laughs> so this is going to be held in the um, lecture hall in the biblioplex. Uh, the course covers recognizing, deciphering, and understanding the magic behind arcane scripts and symbols. Um, oh, Una should get this! <laughs> over the course of the term, you guys have learned to tell scribbles and doodles from magically imbued symbols and study popular accounts of adventurers who've come across magic-based writing in their travels. You've also learned about some common spells that incorporate writing and symbology into their casting. Uh, the course's professor is Brent the Blackstone, a rising star in scriptology whose dynamic lectures are practically performance. <laughs> uh, um, so for the studying phase, what would you guys like to do? Study group. I'm assuming study group again. Okay. The way. Um, oh, is this I'm before the join the before... study group? Uh, yes, this is before the exam. This is the day before the exam. Oh, yeah. Study group. Okay, I'm going to have each of you guys make me a... Oh, there's a giant rat on the table. You guys can either make me an investigation or an arcana check. Woo! Hey. I've only had one thing. In this entire testing phase that I've been good at. No, two things. On the first test, there's one topic, and on this test, there's. <laughs> or on the last test, there's one topic. Okay. So, Avril, what did you get on your, your roll? Or eight. Sorry, I got a seven plus one. Okay. So, everybody but Avril will get a reroll on this test. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Sorry, Avril. I um, expect I'm at a magic school and I punch <laughs> things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next day you guys move on to the testing phase. Um, so the first section of the quiz, uh, well, is anyone going to cheat this test? Una will give everybody uh, bardic inspiration again uh, 10 minutes before the test starts. Okay. I'm going, I'm going to give um, bless. bless to oh. myself, uh, Una and Avril. Sweet. Nichak apparently doesn't need it, and Runner doesn't want to cheat. Nope. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, all right. So nobody's That's cheating, fair. though? No. Nope. Nope. No. Nah. I think we're all being pretty legit. <laughs> okay. All right. So the first section of the exam uh, is glyph of wording shapes, uh, identifying the shapes of commonly used uh, when identifying the shapes commonly used when a mage casts a glyph of wording. And I need you guys to make me an intelligence investigation check. Oh, it's not as horrible as it could have been. So, 15, 15 I will use... Oh, shit. Uh, I am so using that bless. Okay. That's a d4, right? Yeah, d4, yeah, d4 every time we make a ability check. Ugh. 20. Can right. I re-roll that d4. investigation check? Uh, you do have to re-roll. I'm gonna re-roll. I got Can't get worse points. than a five. Woo! That's better. Plus okay. my bless. He said twenty five, oh, Avril. God. Lucky. Me three. <laughs> You're at nineteen. Ooh. Nineteen, okay. Nuna's got a three. twenty. With that bless. 22. Oh, 24? Oh, because you rolled your D6. I did. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Um, nice. So for the second phase of the exam, uh, it's common glyph effects. And you have to write a short essay on a common magical effects and triggers associated with the glyph of warning spells. Uh, I need you guys to make an intelligence arcana check. We're going to use a lucky on that one. Okay. Um, shoot, I already used my oh. my arcana, arcana student die. Me too. Uh, but I still got better than this well. last time. Okay. Uh, that yeah, was so much worse. I should know. I should know warding spells so well because I have a warding spell. Hey. I mean, I failed a test about identifying technology from the country I grew up in. <laughs> that's fair. Okay, so that's a 12 total for you, Nichek, or 15? 15. 15. Okay. Let's see. What did you have, Avril? I'm going to re-roll. 16. Oh, wait, 16. I didn't roll my bless. Oh wait, no, I rolled I did my bless. Ignore that. I already used it once. Bless, <laughs> bless, bless doesn't run every out. Time. Oh, every time? Okay, then that's an eight. That's it. Eight so for bad Una. Okay, so eight for Una and that is a ten for runner. Is this gonna be graded on a curve? <laughs> we hope. <laughs> okay, so um uh, Professor uh, Blackstone picks up the the tests, um, grades them, hands them back. Good news, everybody got above a C. Woo! So, um, so th the ones that ace the test, um, I forgot to have you guys add your student dice from the last quiz. I don't know if you did that or not. Did not. That was an arcana and a persuasion. Uh, either an arcana or history and a persuasion. Whatever dice you used is the one you get, right? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Oh, so I would have had another arcana. If you want to roll that, I will allow you to roll that. Yep. It's a two. So, so I get it's two arcanas on this one. Okay. Uh, yeah. If you if you want to roll your other one, Blackwell, you can totally do so. What did I roll? Oh, no, I'm saying um, I got a, got a 19 on the first test and a 24 on the other test, or 26 on the second test. So I'm assuming I aced both of them. Uh, 19 and a 24, you said? 19 and 26. 26. Okay, yeah, you you did ace the test. Una still has a Yeah, and I just rolled uh, Arcana for both of them. Or no, Una has 12 now, right? Or am I doing my math wrong? Uh, uh, let's see. Plus the bless, then make it eight. So no, I have ten. I have ten. Okay. Um. Okay. So we sticking with these scores here? Yeah, I don't have anything to add to it. I okay. don't got anything else. So I've been giving everybody well, else the get, bardic inspiration. Do we get dice from our extracurriculars? Um, how does that work? I, th I don't remember if that was a thing or not. Um, says so extracurricular okay. benefits. <laughs> uh, well, a student participates in an extracurricular, they gain a student die and a relationship point. Oh, yep, yeah, you do. Okay, well, that's not hard, because I did three years of the same thing, so did that give me an Arcana one? Yeah, that would give you an Arcana one. <laughs> well, hell yeah. Let me. I guess I'll see if I can add a little bit mm -hmm. to it. Yeah, I did three years of Historical Society, so I'll take that it. That would give you another one as well, Una. Okay. Too many mechanics to keep up with. <laughs> Oh, uh, 14, 14. didn't get me there. 14 yeah, and 11. 11, okay. Yep. It only went up just a little. <laughs> yeah. 
Unfortunately, Runner and Una, those are not enough to to pass. Um, Such just, horrible rolls. Just short. Um, so you guys do get a C plus though. Um, I'll take it. It's, a little, it's better than failing. Michek, Avril, and Blackwell ace the test. A plus. I I not both of them. You did. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, with that, um, we're going to go ahead and call it here. Uh, so we make it time. Um, we will pick back up with the mascot hunting next week. So. Hell yeah. Mascot yeah. hunting. Hey, guys, we didn't die. Got close. We got I got really Very close. close. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah. Really I got knocked out, too. <laughs> Yeah, that was a little wild. <laughs> that, got, that got real close. Yeah. That was definitely a by the skin of our teeth moments. <laughs> Luckily, uh, I don't have high strength, so even if I'd started whacking people, <laughs> specifically <laughs> Dodwell. Yeah. We're like, dude, dude, stop. What do you, stop it. <laughs> Thank you all for watching tonight. We appreciate you tuning in and having a, having. I'm going to grab you. Having a time with us. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Viewers oh, yeah, here. that was all awesome. All right, happening. I'm going to lay down. <laughs> yep. If you guys want to play with us, come join us on Discord. If you really like the games that we play and you want to help us buy some more books and, uh, you know, increase uh, the quality level of our games www.patreon.com backslash dungeon oasis thanks again guys you guys rock